Hey yo, hello. Hey. What's up, everybody? Can you hear us? Because we can hear you. Yeah. What? What? Nothing. Yeah. Don't worry about it. What Don't worry about it. Thing we can hear Hello, the thank you, Parallel Resistance and Epsilon Cross for the follows. How are you guys doing today? Oh, thanks for the follows. Welcome. Hello, Welcome Cody and Gateway, and I thought saw Isol in there and somebody. And I think, Jay's oh, Mike. Citrus Mike. also. Oh yeah, Jay's is in there. Hey, what's up, guys? Hi, Hello, Cobalt. It's Monday yes. nights now. Yeah, it feels nice. <laughs> ah. Hello, Cobalt. No, we're not Cobalt. We're Nobles. Oh, we're Brobles. Oh, we're That's right. Nobles. I am a Cobalt. Yeah. I'm a Noble. You're a Nobles. Did I get that right? Say it again. Cobalt. Gold. You put the language horridly, but yes. I speak. I, I don't know if you guys saw it, like, what we have. Oh, we lost oh, them. It was too already. much. It was too much for them. Uh, they already got cut out. It was already... Okay, we lost! Oh no, you guys are still here. <laughs> so, Taiwan's internet, as usual, is suffering today. Something is super wrong. If we just oh, stop okay. all of a sudden... Well, thanks for it's hanging out. because we went nobles. That's we why. No I oh. wrote... Yeah, no ball. No, no, because I wrote a lot of stuff. Guys, listen, it was awesome. Look at these yes. kobolds not being brobolds and not so nobles. They'll be kobolds, maybe snowballs, if they don't go bold. <laughs> I mean, come on. You know it's when somebody tells effort. you to listen, it's going to be really good. <laughs> I, I really hope that the people who watch this understand that, like, for the majority of yeah. us, we have no idea what we're walking into in these uh, yeah. sessions. That was our popcorn. Like, okay. so <laughs> the accents are new. The, the kobold poetry... Brand new. The music, never heard it before. <laughs> it's it's just a blind surprise. Seriously. Oh. It's just, we we never know anything at all about what's going to happen. Epsilon oh, Cross is a DM paladin. Paladin Leonin, Oath of Glory. Wow. Ooh, nice. How noble. He's, uh, he's a noble. Yeah. No oh, she, they. Sorry. They. Noble. Uh, so. They. They're noble. What is this? What do I got this on? I don't know what that is. Okay. So we were saying we were gonna have to talk, but actually, <laughs> we were gonna talk. Yeah, we do have we do have no, some no, stuff no. to talk about, guys. We have yeah, an intervention yeah. here. Oh. For um. Nothing. We have to wait for know. Jared. It's just come? yeah, for wait for Jared. We, we have to popcorn. Sorry. So we're trying to not <laughs> set our fire alarm. <laughs> it's in the. It's in the, okay. We're both. I think we could just start. But, yeah, Except that we have a schedule. Energy. We have a schedule <laughs> yes. to talk about. Um, so, yeah, hello, ahead. welcome to Carney Sideshow, for those of you who are new to us. Tonight is our crazy one-shot show with these <laughs> fine people here. Wonton one-shots, or wanton one-shots, not wanton. wonton. And then, <laughs> although, we are in Taiwan, if you don't know. Uh, the other thing is, we have some new shows that we started last week we're super excited about. <gasps> Besides this show, I mean, we also have tomorrow morning, yeah, or no, there. if you're in the States, tonight, <laughs> Monday night, we have Twitch Plays with Strahd Von Zorovic, where I am Strahd, I guess, Strahd. And, and you guys are the player, <laughs> player. So far, they've named the player, the character, uh, what was it? Dr. Snuffleupagus Tall Fry Malvarian, yeah. something like that. I love this. If it's if it's the mood perfectly, you know, you know, dark, really grim, sweet. scary, body horror. I mean, you try to spell that over the phone, and I think you would agree that it is dark and scary. <laughs> D as in dog. Oh God, it's gonna take a long time. DMV waits for you. Oh God. Oh, uh, Cody. Yeah, it was Cody's fault. It was Cody's fault. Um, nice. What else do we got? We got. <laughs> On when like, times are so weird. So if you're in the states, Tuesday night we also have a brand new Ravenloft campaign, homebrew, where a fine group of mismatched people are dragged into the mists. Last time they went to one of the demi planes of dread, known as the Carnival, which is the only demi plane of dread that can move freely throughout the rest of them, and now they're stuck in the mists. For what purpose? Who knows? Let's well, find poopy. out this Tuesday night. For uh, carnival, not the carnival. Theme. Yeah. Carnival. Carnival. Chris is look at choosing. 
He's only choosing stuff. Got my hat right here. It's weird. So. <laughs> and then also something special. This guy. So everybody who's like you know, normally watching us on Saturday morning here in the Aussie slash Taiwan time or Friday night, we're gonna do something a little bit new and different with our uh, mini campaign we have going on, which is a like a Spelljammer Planescape campaign. We're gonna be doing it at night here in Taiwan, ten o'clock at night. Nope, nine o'clock at night, which is nine a.m. Uh, New York time. A little bit early, but that's okay. Saturday morning cartoons, guys. Saturday morning cartoons, and in the UK, it's like two p.m. So, different time. Yes, D and D in space. Space D and D. Yes. Please. I was just gonna ask, is that the one in space? Because I'm yeah. like obsessed with that idea. <laughs> space dungeons, space and Whoa. space dragons. I'm afraid and so interested. Like. Mm -hmm. That was good. They uh, they took a spaceship last time for the opening act, and then they swapped it out for a spell jammer that they don't know yet. But well, anyway, I'm here, so you can't really say much, actually. Yeah, I can't say much. Spell jammer, it's like the worst. Every time it's like, oh, why is she here? I can't say anything. You know, like a anything. signal jammer. Yeah. But for spells, so you can't send or receive spells. Hi, dead Aussie gamer. Oh, Dag's here. It's Dag. Hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. It's time to start yeah. this kobold craziness. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, roll the intro. Kobold show bald is about a rundown. Kobold show Doing it now. <laughs> Close enough. What? Oh, we're live? Oh no, it was really all on purpose. I was just kidding. <laughs> Alright guys. Yes, by the way, Epsilon Cross, I took a lot of inspiration from Stars Without Number. I love that. I've never actually got to play something, but it's amazing. So I stole all the ideas and put it into D&D &D 5e. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. So, with that. Big dragon energy, love it. Gateway Games redeemed bonjour stuff. already. <laughs> Oh, no. the bonjour. <laughs> well, Sylvie, your time to shine. Welcome, Sylvie. What? Bon, alors, bonjour tout le monde. Bonsoir, bienvenue <laughs> sur la chaîne. Oh, wait, 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 Which... request. Cobalt song in French. Ready, go. What? <laughs> 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 I'm impressed. That was beautiful, yeah. yeah. I was really random when I just said, guys, it was just like, I said, I'm walking down the street naked and I'm just being an ass right now. I'm no, I don't know about this song, or maybe I shouldn't like swear That's so cool. much, but that was That's pretty cool. much my song about what was. I was so hoping you were saying something like that. Like that. <laughs> so, so it was a cobalt song. I hope you are happy because it was. Literal okay. merde. <laughs> are you ready to yes. begin? <laughs> Literal merde. <laughs> Literal. <laughs> Wait a second, go on. <laughs> sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hope you guys have your characters in mind. Oh yeah. Always. Good luck, everyone. No nat ones. Hashtag no nat ones. Uh, uh, so I definitely nat ones. I'm right now of getting only those. Didn't need that. Mm -hmm. but anyway, here we go. Shooting at it already. All right. Didn't need that get your that character right on. As we go. <laughs> Deep beneath the small town of Helmsfield, unbeknownst to its inhabitants, 
lies the world's biggest dungeon lair. This cavernous mega dungeon has been growing underground for millennia. Here, the ancient dragon queen, Aramanthalia Varaxina, lies slumbering, surrounded by the wealth of nations and the treasures of a thousand devoured adventurers. Here, her sinister plans for world domination are hatched. Here, her prized treasures are kept behind numerous arcane and mundane defenses. But maintaining such a place requires a lot of work, and every dragon, no matter how ancient, needs minions. Oh. This, <laughs> this is the story of two kobold tribes, the Red Scales, a la you, and the Blue Scales. Their duties okay, we... include guarding the numerous vaults and hordes, setting traps, rearming traps, feeding the tamed monstrosities, and fighting off the occasional ooze that climbs out of the bottomless pit. They are the caretakers of this place. They also hate each other very much and are constantly competing for more influence within the horde. The primary cause of their feud is the difference of the color between their scales. To the kobolds, their tribe is the epitome of draconic heritage. To a casual observer, however, both tribes appear a vague shade of purple. Well, that just shows how uncouth they are in reality. Like, they know nothing about us, nothing about us. Don't let it get to you. What? Get to you. Is there something after us? Yeah. Routine at the lair was shaken up recently when the Dragon Queen awoke for the first time in a decade and without giving any instructions departed along with her salamander servants. Most of the kobolds are too young to remember the last time this happened and now, ten days after her departure, various rumors are circulating among the Red Scales. Ten days is a long time, especially for impatient kobolds. Perhaps she's left for good. Perhaps she's abandoned them. Alone in the mountains with gold, lots of gold, and piles upon piles of very dangerous magical artifacts. And you know what? What if those blue scales try to get to them first? I'm a barbarian, and I'm seething at that thought. <laughs> Kill them all. As we them zoom all. into the Red Scales' lair, you see as they tend to a small fungus plantation and take care of herds of roth and giant crickets, fire like and growing around steam vents, provide them with something to make liquor out of. Around the center of this domain, is what they call the pile. This large (laughs) shaped amphitheater in the middle has a pile in it raised with 10 feet of gold, silver, copper coins, which have been encrusted entrusted to the red scales. And on top of it is a sturdy looking iron bound chest known as the chest, which no Kaldbalov has ever tried to open. Mm-hmm. As we come out of our rooms, why don't you introduce yourselves? And more importantly, why you hate the blue scale so much personally? Hey, Moonbo. Oh. Hello. Hey. Hi. Mm-hmm. How about we going to tell us who's who's starting? You always well, yeah. starting <laughs> with. Like- Gerard. That's all I'm calling you from now on. Uh, all right. Uh, Biff walks out of his hut, hunched, because Biff is your fourth level barbarian. I didn't really look up proper cobalt stats, so Biff's a brick house. He's four foot two, <laughs> fifty pounds, a pure muscle, just. <laughs> For those of us who are watching who don't know Kobold's stats, they're between two and three feet, 
roughly 25, 30 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> so just, He's terrifying to us. Amanda's word of the week is Chungus. It's yeah. basically, basically Biff. The Chungus Cobalt Biff. <laughs> Biff has one and a half horns, and it's because Bap the Blue from the Blue Scales, like of similar size. Bopped you? Bap the Blue? Bopped you? Yeah, Bap the Blue, Bop, Biff the Buff. <laughs> I just played that personally. Like, <laughs> this is the my trade. Everybody likes watching Biff fight because he's the biggest. <laughs> but he takes orders very well. All right. Yeah. Well, then, moving yeah. on to Amanda and Clarl. A, a return visit from the famous, the one, the only, Clarl. Whoa. The prequel story of Quarrel, the great, the first Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> well, Quarrel, Quarrel doesn't belong here among these peons, and that's quite frankly because Quarrel is a noble, as you could probably tell from the shimmer of my scales and the stature and the fact that I can speak without stuttering more than once. What? What? The case that point is what I'm saying. Uh, my father was, in fact, a dragon. A real dragon. A real life dragon. And I have a noble bloodline also of that dragon. And that's why my magic is so good. And that's why I usually don't work here. I just give orders because I'm the only one who can. And then also because this, these fuckers don't know it, but I tell them I have fireball, I've got a scorching rain, it looks really painful. So <laughs> that's how we get things done around here. And despite all of this, those blue skills spat on me. They fucking spat. I mean, it didn't really hit me. It splashed off the ground onto my toe where I was going to walk, but they spat on me. And so now I have to kill them. And I didn't want to do it, but they deserve it. They had it covered, and I'm not sorry. I want to kill them. I've got him, too, so I feel like we're basically going to win. I'll keep going if you want. I can't oh, no, good. I, just, I was just waiting. I was, uh, beautiful. All right. So, okay. moving on to Michelle. Epsilon Cross says, okay, so I love Clarl. Justice for Carl. Hashtag. <laughs> so, That's what I'm saying. I expect trending by morning. So, Hick. Hick doesn't have a hut on the inside of this dungeon. He comes in from outside because Hick lives in the woods, you know. The cave yes, woods. <laughs> the fungus woods. Yeah, the fungal forest. The woods. Um, shooting prey for to feed, you know, a lot of this uh, population. So, you know, Hick, Hick rolls in, he's like... My man. <laughs> Every, everyone shut up. Shut up, shut up. Get off my lawn. There's and no blue rest. scales, they killed my dog. Oh, <gasps> shit. <laughs> I will fireball them personally for you. Time out. Wait. Individually. As a as a previously traumatized goblin in a past life, what is your kobold <laughs> dog equivalent? Is it a dog or is it a so, dog? So the so right right after him, you know, comes comes skittering his dog. It's not a dog. It's a giant spider. But, you know, this is <laughs> this is a dog yeah. too. This is this is the new dog, but <laughs> that doesn't erase the pain from the loss of the first dog. So you know. I apologize that I was about to ask his name before you said it. I'm so in love with Dog too. <laughs> dog too. <laughs> well, you, know, you gotta keep the things in order. It's too difficult. You have more than one. It's okay, Dog too. We'll still love you. I'm almost out of fingers when I get to two. Yeah, Ambic says John what? Hick, Cobo Bellum. Four. Exactly. Oh, God. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I love the puns. <laughs> Uh, seriously. <laughs> it's so good. It's oh, so, so you should have been a ranger. Are you a ranger? Can I, I pet your dog? Yes. <laughs> yeah, perfect. perfect. Don't touch my dog. Dual wielding <laughs> ranger. Okay. okay. John Hick. Okay. <laughs> no, Beastmaster. Beastmaster. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, by the way, you guys are not on roll 20, just saying. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I, let me do that. I don't see However, you if you look on oh, no, the stream, that. you can't see. Good point. Streaming professionals, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, <laughs> definitely. I'm so excited to get in a character. All right. Go. Moving on to uh, Sylvie. Hi. My name's Bobby. Oh, I'm so happy to meet you all. 
I'm, I'm gonna be worried that the Dragon Queen's not here. I, I'm not sure why, but uh, it can only be okay, right? Uh, people always say that, why are you so hyper? But I can't even feel that I'm hyper. I'm just always so happy to see you all. I'm a paladin, and paladin is for destiny. But couple justice, don't worry. I love slashing throats, and I love cutting fingers. It's one of my favorite pastimes ever. So, if you want to be my friends, let's just be friends. The only thing is that, you know, those blue scales, one day I was asking one of they, them to date me, and then they broke my heart, even if I don't have a heart. So right now, I need to avenge my heart, my non-existent heart. Do you feel it? The pain in my heart? You've been heartbroken too, I can see it. I know you know what it is to be rejected. I can see it on your face. So just be by my side and let's just kill them, all right? Bye. Wow. That was something. I'm leaving. Blue. No, wait, stop, please. You talk very fast. You have the alcohol, please come back. They hurt your heart, you need that. Oh, well, she actually left. You should keep that in. <laughs> and frozen. Can you still hear us, though? <laughs> Michelle. Michelle. Oh, yeah, Michelle's frozen. Am I? Frozen. Yeah. Dang yeah, it. We're, 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 we're I mean, smile. I think the reaction to okay. you. Yeah. I think that's the reaction to your character. It's yeah, probably. Just, <laughs> Boombo, yeah. thank you for the bits. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Epsilon says, I have a newfound fear. The name is Dobby. That's me. All right. You're indeed correct. Dobby is the craziest sex that you don't want to tell where you live. Deck it down. Hello. Hello. So. Dobby's going to find you. Michelle's still frozen. So as long as you can hear us. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you want to leave and come back or start? No, maybe uh, turn off the video and turn on the video. Mm -hmm. Try that. Oh, she just left. Okay. What your preferred pronouns are? What? <laughs> I don't know. Is Dobby a she, her? The they. They, them? They, them. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just wanted to know because, like, I'm getting real. I don't know. With kobolds in general, I don't know. And I have like way fewer, <laughs> way fewer cues to go off of with everything I've just learned. <laughs> I don't All right. Know. <laughs> so, I, I know who you are, Biff. As you, Do you know who you are? <laughs> as you walk into it. the amphitheater, this area in the center here, which you can see on roll twenty, you hear a voice. Usually, it would be the somewhat leader of your little group here, the oldest one, known as Ziggle, who, well, somehow has grown past the ripe old age of 18 and made it to 22. He is ancient in Cobalt standards, so it makes sense. But today, he's not the one standing atop the pile. As you come out, you hear, brothers and sisters, those filthy blue scales have finally crossed the line. We've been expecting this to happen for a long time now. Days. We recently discovered we could use our speaking stone to eavesdrop on the filthy blue scales. Ha! Those imbeciles forgot to turn off theirs. And I have heard with my own ears the extent of their wickedness. I heard them say, Queen is dead. Can you believe it? What? Um, did you? I just have a question. Did you remember to turn off our speaking stone when you're giving us this address? <laughs> oh shit! No, goddamn! <laughs> you see him We're scramble gonna, and like <laughs> juggle a little bit. It was like, oh, is there? Is is done? Is, is what? What? Uh, wh what's an Eve? And does it hurt if you drop it on someone? Just you, Biff. Go on. Just ignore his questions. What? Anyway, <laughs> said he's dropped on him. <sighs> As okay, I was saying, you just drop on somebody. Listen, he's pretty. Oh. Very. <laughs> <laughs> I heard them say the queen is dead. Can you believe that? 
I heard them say they were no longer minions, but masters. But wait, it gets worse. They have looted Vault 9, which they are supposed to be guarding. They are supposed to be guarding it. And they took all those magical weapons and stuff, and they have it now. And they sent out their teams of elite warriors. And one is coming for our vault, our Vault 17. The other is going for the big pile. The big pile itself. That's my pile. I mean, that's the pile of the, the, the queen. Right, the queen. Uh, right. Are you saying, are you saying that uh, we're gonna get under attack very soon? And then we're gonna need you like, uh, uh, kill, 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 Yes, exactly. And as he says that, you see like all the other kobolds like, ah, yeah. They erupt into chaos like, yep, yeah. Oh, yeah. I high five on their arm. You crush them. And as Char goes on, he says, we only have one choice. We must send a team of our own. The best, the very best and brightest. You four. <laughs> you need to go to Vault 17. You need to arm yourselves with magical stuff. And you need to crush those filthy blue scales once and for all. Perhaps also, it is time for us to open the chest. <gasps> Oh, I guess, right? oh, I'm the only one who knows how to read numbers past five. Also, it is my bloodline right to open that chest. What? That's a secret I didn't tell you, Biff. It's my <laughs> chest. <laughs> Do you know how to open the chest, though? Of course I know how to open the chest. I've always known how to open the chest. Carl, I will roll How do we do that? that? <laughs> as Roll Ziggle, deception. as he finishes this up and you guys start discussing opening the chest, you see Ziggle come out, the old ancient kobold. He's like, what you're proposing is treachery against the Dragon Queen. We must fight yeah. the Blue Scales, I agree, but we must not touch her treasures. Well, Ziggle, uh, has anyone ever done that before? Yes, and they died a horrible death. It was horrible. We guarded these well, treasures as our ancestors have, and their ancestors before them. We cannot give in to greed now. We must be better than the blue scales. Quick question. Yeah. Yes. Uh, how old is Ziggle? You said 22? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, Hick is 21, and the second oldest. <laughs> second oldest kobold in here. That's right. <laughs> So he's gonna walk right up to, you know, Ziggle and says, shut up, old man, and just shoves him, so he falls off the pile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then Char is like, yeah, shut up! Those filthy blue scales will show us no mercy. They either, we either loot and kill, or we die. And as you push the old man, he's like, but if we touch anything, the, the dragon's queen will, will be, uh, she'll kill us. It'll be, her retribution will be terrible. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. I got a deal. Listen, listen. I got a deal for you. I got a deal. Listen. Okay. All right. I know you're scared. I see you're scared. Which is blaming all of the blue scales. Because they're the ones who really started this when you think about it, with all the looting and pillaging that they did, and they opened the treasure first. I don't want to think about so it. So all we gotta do is put a blue scale body inside this chest, <laughs> then close this chest with a blue scale body in it, and then we'll tell them that the blue scales opened the chest, and that's the proof. Because how would they get in there if they didn't open it? You know? So, like, they had to open it to get inside the chest. And basically, it's foolproof. What you put that head in? Name for all this head? Dobby's tweaking out, I think. Um, I think Dobby's just normally that excited. I can't tell. <laughs> no! We're gonna cut a hand! Put a hand! I'm gonna cut a hand. Okay! I'm gonna cut a hand, a blue hand, and I'll put it inside. Oh, no, 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 no! Better! I'm gonna cut a finger, and I'm gonna squeeze it inside the hole. No, 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 no. Do it, then we can't uh -oh. open the chest. Don't, then we can't, if you put that, we can't open, listen. No. You do something, uh. you could just smash the hand inside, and then they'll be caught red-handed. Which is kind of insulting, because we've got red hands, and so really, it should be they'll be caught blue-handed, because of asphyxiation to that, anyway. Telling you, I agree, but... Putting <laughs> finger, finger in the chest. Ooh. Finger in the chest. 
I'm just gonna say it. Uh, I don't want to do it. You don't. Feel Not it. you. I'll do it. it. You do yeah, that. No, finger. No, we we shouldn't do that. I'm just Char saying it's a very bad <laughs> idea. Char kind of pushes you like, yeah, exactly. Well, no matter what, we gotta kill them. And I, you know what? What if the dragon queen really is dead, huh? What if she is? Uh, then we need to take this for ourselves. And yeah. also, right. we need to take all we can because I heard they've got a magical sword of darkness. Well, during all of this squabbling that's happening. Yeah, please let go of my head. Please let go of my head. I'm so afraid. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys are all standing at the base of the pile, the big pile, no. and squabbling. Well, Hick is already at the top of the pile and attempting to open it. You hear head. coins clinking as, like, Biff starts climbing up, too. <laughs> <laughs> are you still holding my head? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's right. Yes, that's right. Cobalts, red scales, rise up. We need to release the beasts. We need to take them tamed creatures. We need to uncover the riddle room and open up the vaults and pass through the gas tunnels and steal their treasures and take it all the way to the big pile where we take down those disgusting blue scales. Are you with me? But I mean, you are going to yeah. do it by yourself, but still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. do it. I'm with you, but you can't say this was my idea. Biff and Hick are by the... Don't say this was my idea. Biff and Hick are by the chest. This was Biff's idea. What? So I roll to open the chest. Okay. Yeah. You... The chest is locked. Okay. And as you go to open it, it is also trapped. So when you try to push it open, this oh. mist comes out. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> ah, dang it. Joy. Don't finger the chest. <laughs> 16. 16, okay, you're all right then. Actually, you dodged the spray. You don't really take any effects. And uh, you can see that the chest is locked, so you're going to have to pick it. And my fist is standing right next to me, so does he also dodge the effects? Do <laughs> what? Biff, go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Climb up just in time. Oh, come on. Technically, so is Char. Did Biff whiff? No, uh, 13? 13, oh, okay. That's a different story. So as this spray comes out <laughs> and hits you, you become poisoned. But it's not that bad. Except for the fact that you are now haunted by horrible hallucinations. Specifically... <laughs> of the chest, perceiving it as a kind of Pandora's box, and you must use your movement to dash away and, or tell everybody, don't open that chest. Nope, 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 chest is a monster, chest is a monster. Clinking <laughs> <laughs> down the hill, chest is a monster. Nope, Thanks, Cody, nope, you have a good nope. vacation. Bye. They're going to, yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna attempt to pick the lock. Someone snickers in the crowd, I bop them. Kill him, he's dead. He's dead. I start climbing up. Hick is gonna try to open it. I'm gonna start climbing up to try and open it myself with my superior intellect of not that actually superior, but definitely dexterity my superiority check. intellect. I know it's a dexterity check. So okay. I have some uh, <laughs> superior intellect. Bone shards and an arrow and I'm trying to pick the lock. Alright. Yeah. Go ahead and Your roll. Ancient wisdom. <laughs> Slide a hand? Yes. That, ooh, 15. 15 is enough. As you hear the click. Yeah. <laughs> and inside, you find a wand of wonder, a pearl of power, and two feather tokens of the tree variety. What? You can go ahead and look up. You can look up all those things. I well, want that wand. I said it was coming up where I need that wand. Well, I opened Why it. I grabbed all things. God damn it! I'm up next to you. <laughs> I grabbed all the things and I'm running. I'm chasing him. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah, hang on. Let's look up. Look up the. Things. Okay, so one more time. It was a wa one wand of wonder. One okay. pearl of power and two feather tokens of the tree. 
I'm gonna look up the feather tokens of the tree. And as you're kind of like taking these out, Char is like, yes, this is just the first of many. Let's gather everything. Take it all. <gasps> okay, where is it? I don't even care about this one. I want another one. I want another one. I'm looking at the Wand of Wonder. I'm going to okay. cast Gust on Hick <laughs> to knock him down. Uh, <laughs> okay. So it says that I can push them away or towards me, but I figure he's running down a pile of gold. So I feel like the tripping is going to be very high. He's got to succeed on a strength saving throw. All right. Of, wait, I'll get the number. Don't be wowed. Now I just I crit succeeded. Oh what? Well, <laughs> well, right, definitely beats a fourteen. So <laughs> okay. Fuck. Yeah. God damn it! Your gust of wind case. unexpectedly <laughs> pushes them to the bottom harmlessly. Yeah, I, I speed him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> faster now. <laughs> Go forth, Hick. Okay. I meant to do that. I was blessing him. I was blessing him. I did it on purpose. There's nothing left if I search the chest extra carefully, is there? So, a no. tree feather token is a token that causes a great oak to spring into, into, uh, and then this is intense, instantaneous. 60 foot height, 40 foot top diameter, 5 foot diameter trunk. So you just you create it, like you just make a tree appear. Is it that? Yes, magic, yes. magic tree. A huge tree, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, nice. There's two of those, right? Oh. There are two yeah. of those, yes. Pearl Jesus. of Power. You can use an action to speak its command word and regain one expended spell slot. If the expended spell slot is a fourth level or higher, the new slot is third. So you can only regain third level spells or second or first. Oh no, where are the fourth level characters going to do? No third level spells okay. available. Wand of Wonder. Wand of Wonder, yes. Uh, require, okay, so it needs a spellcaster. This wand has seven charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one of its charges and choose a target within 120 feet of you. The target can be a creature, an object, or a point in space. Roll a d100 and consult the following table to discover what happens. This is amazing. This is incredible. Okay, well, you, so... Well, you don't have anything. I have all of them, so, you know. I know. I want the wand, though. <laughs> the wand Carl is working. Friends! <laughs> Don't touch me! Don't argue! Don't argue! We are the we are the Kobold Avengers! We are the Cavengers! We gotta go fight the blue ones! We don't fight among each other, okay? We just have so many things we can take! Let's just go and kill them all! Let's do that! I wanna fight Kobold. I yeah, me too! I wanna fight Kobold! The blue five. ones, of course. Don't high five them. Don't high five them. <laughs> so was there a vault that we're heading to, or...? So, you can go on your way to the big pile through many ways. You don't have to do all of them, but the more you go to, the more power you'll get on your way. And Char assures you that the Blue Scales already have their power well in hand, as they've raided their half of the Mega Dungeon on the other side of the big pile. Can you, I from this... Sure. Go ahead. Sorry. Can I do a quick inside check on who is talking? Claw? Claw. Car. Car. Can I just do a quick inside check on, on into Car? My guy's not, he's not actually like that smart, but I feel like he's pretty smart for a kobold. Like, so <laughs> I want to do a quick inside check to see if I, like, I'm going to go get this stuff regardless because I want the power for myself. Yeah. But like, I want to see if I, if, how, I guess, if this information is reliable in any way. Okay. <laughs> that the other guys have it, like me reading him to be like, do I think he just heard some random words and was like, now nah, we got it, war time is now. Oh, it's gotta be for shit though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced. Well, one yes. thing you know for certain is that the sending seven. stone is still on. God damn it. <laughs> As you look at it. I'm gonna it, ask him for the sending stone. <laughs> Hey, okay. buddy, listen, I should do, you should give me the sending stone so that I can tell you guys messages and about you hear where some, we are. You hear some voices as you take it from the other side, like, oh, what? They're doing something. All right, we get more stuff. Go. 
<laughs> That's very reliable information. Okay, can we go? <laughs> then in that case, can we just everybody can loot one vault or something? So we all have something and then we go kill them? Can we just do that? You'll definitely uh, need to yeah, go I'm together. Yeah, what, what I want. And there's only I'm one vault. Headed. There's other rooms though. The vault. Going after Hick. Okay, Hick so it. Hick uses weapons. <laughs> I'm going after all of them. With From this, the... I turn off the sending stone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> from this, from the, your lair, you can either go to the Riddle Room, Vault 17 directly, or the Monster Wing. Uh, well, I think Vault going to the Monster Wing. Huh? Vault 17. 17. Well, all right, I follow them to Vault, Vault 17. First. first what? Yeah. Vault 17. Well, but there's more in the Monster Lair. So, all of them, I think. Where is Vault 17 on the map? Actually, I should have no idea. <laughs> So it is directly in front of you. So the other the other two go off to the left and right. The Vault 17 is directly in front. There's no map here. That's what fine. is the... What is... Oh. Okay. However, there is a mini-map. I don't even know which cobalt I am. Oh. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Oh. Are those uh, real ass people? I don't want to encounter people here. Chris, also, thoughts? Yeah. Um, I would like joint custody of Biff with Clarl. Oh, Biff? Biff? Yeah, Biff's the one like moon gazing there. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Appropriately. <laughs> Lost Owl, thank you for the follow. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hi. Hi. You're not lost anymore. All right. It was a bad joke, sorry. Deck it down says go to the monster wing, I believe in you. Well, you guys ran to Vault 17. I mean, I feel like the monster ring would be great. We could get monsters to run. But I don't want to lose it. No problem. Yeah, speak with animals as a ritual. Why? Beast totem. Oh, God. <laughs> they get so, me. As <laughs> you head there. <laughs> Fourth culture, hello with the raid. Whoa. Hi there. Whoa. Hey, guys. Whoa. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Hey, Shasha, hello! Coming over from Fourth Culture. How's it going? How did it go? Hey! Caught a hey little guys. bit of it earlier. Speaking of raids. Ursa, hello! <laughs> we just barely started, actually. Nothing happened. Not Nothing much happened, happened yet. Um, if you no, want to want give them, like, a little yeah. explanation? I do. So, basically, everybody today is a kobold. A Yay! And their dragon queen has mysteriously disappeared for ten whole days. And they're freaking out. As this side of the Mega Dungeon, the Red Scales, is preparing, they heard that the Blue Scales have already started to acquire all of the magical items and tried to take the power of the Mega Dungeon for themselves. And now, mobilizing too late, maybe, they're running after their own Vault 17 to plunder everything there and perhaps gain enough power to stop the Blue Scales. Okay. And that's what's going on. That's it. That's all. That's all that's happened. They're going to run <laughs> to Blue Seven, the Vault 17 right now. <laughs> and as they do, they see that some of their traps have already been undone. God damn it. Uh, as you're running in. They didn't even step in the rope loop. I know you worked really hard on that Biff, and I'm sorry. Yeah. It took you like a week to learn how to tie a simple, a simple slip knot. It wasn't simple. It was. It, it's <laughs> listed as the simple slip knot. <laughs> and as you come in, you see a trail of blood Ooh, to one of your own. As you come into Ooh. the entrance, you see Dreadclaw, one of your fellow Red Scales. His jaw uh -huh. has been broken, and he's bleeding from mul multiple stab wounds to his abdomen. <laughs> Jesus. Does he have anything good on him? Yes. <laughs> he has a nifty dagger. He has a what? Pretty nifty dagger. I have a nifty no. dagger now, Chris. So, is he like, uh, humans? He's uh, Robin. I'm a kobold. Roll, no, a, uh, not... roll an insight check, whoever finds him first. <laughs> I guess it would be yeah, Hick. Oh, yeah, Hick, Hick, go roll, roll an inside Hick check. All right, that is a nat 17. Nat 17, oh, okay. So, so you clearly see... 20. 20. You see that he is indeed telling you there are humans inside 
as you go in and would you when you reach the intersection of the three tunnels you can see the archway bearing the draconic symbol for 17 in front of it two other red scales lie dead and a swinging ram trap has been triggered beside the archway two tall humanoid <laughs> figures are crouched over one another one a young huma, woman who lies there bleeding her jaw appears to de be dislocated and her arm is bent at an odd angle the older of the two men is trying to bandage her wounds while the other one turns to you says something inhuman and pulls out his sword what did you say wait one second what did you say do we speak common we speak common i speak common mm -hmm. do we speak common I speak common, but my language is less... Uh, One thing I might not have told you, you have never, ever been to the surface before. Ever. Because, ew, the surface Yo. is gross. And why would you want to go there? In the sun and stuff? No, it's much better down here. In the dark. So we don't speak common, then. And you don't speak common. <laughs> don't speak common. Wait. That's fine. Can I roll a persuasion check? <laughs> don't worry, guys! I speak... I speak human! I know what he said. You can roll a I'm deception check. Dagger. I want that nifty little dagger. <laughs> How does a six do them? The woman, believe me. I don't know. If everybody wants to roll an inside check, they can. Can you beat a six? I want you. I want you. Biff in his home of the city. Okay. Everybody beats it. 14. Everybody knows. Everybody. Everybody knows. You, you don't believe Clara. No. 21. <laughs> But they're not. They're cobalt. They're not cobalts. Okay. Not I tried to <laughs> I tried to make language sign with them like no and then no. <laughs> this is my language sign. I do that to them. I look at them and I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, Epsilon Cross, thank you for the prime sub. Holy cow, Elder Scribe also just following up with the raid. Hey, hello! <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Epsilon Cross. Super appreciate it. Thanks, Hello, Elder Scribe. Scribe. How are you? How was your game? Sweet name. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Hi there. Scribe. Whoa. Thank you for nice. following, Eldritch. Nice. Hello. Yeah. Rekinexi. Hello. Genius. Thank you. Wow. What? You didn't see that they were there? No, I didn't. But now I did. Who, man? I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm, we're going to say something to the Eldritch. Cry, but you're gonna tell them what is going on right now. Oh, perfect. Okay. You guys just finished a two week one shot. We are just starting a two week one shot. Hey, okay, hey, that's exactly what we're here to hey. do. So, for all the new people hanging out with us, quickly, they're all kobolds. Their dragon queen has disappeared, and their fellow co workers but hated members of their mega dungeon, the blue scales, are on the move to take power for themselves. These fine red scales here need to stop them before it's too late. They just ran into the Dragon Queen's Vault 17 to steal her good stuff and equip themselves with it. But they found some humans and a dead red scale. So I wanna, hey, I wanna, I wanna make a language sign thingy with them. I look at them and then I do, I do this and then I, and then I, what are you trying to convey here? I'm trying to convey that if they, if they, they we should be friends. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna kill them. That's how I convey it. Okay, roll. All right, they'll they'll roll an insight check. <laughs> to try and understand what we're doing. Go ahead, and roll. Uh, let's go with intelligence. What? The? Why intelligence? You never know. You could get a new I don't think she'll ever know. I'm rough. <laughs> five. I five. five? A five. So these humans, tending to one of their own wounded, kind of look at you. He has his sword out. <laughs> but he kind of lowers it. Is he... I've already cast Hunter's Mark on the guy with the sword. Oh. Yeah. He immediately pulls the sword back up again. I want. What the? I was. I think. Let me finish. 
I'm telling you, I know how to make friends. I know how to make friends. I am so good. I'm the only cold that's good at making friends. So, well, I'll calm them fun. down. Jeez. I will calm them down. No worries. I have a heart. I said it. I'm a heart. I want the I knife. I want the knife. I want to do this to them. You take the knife from your dead body, your dead friend? Yeah. Okay. Not our dead body yet. We are still alive at this all moment. Right. Over his dead body. Well, if you aren't making any moves, the humans also finish up bandaging there and kind of like. No, no, no. Uh, we are gonna. I'm gonna cast a spell on them. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, uh, I, I I need to get past them. They're in the way. So I was really gonna do my. So far as my cohorts understand, fireball, aka scorching ray. Yeah. <laughs> and. As you do that, I need you to roll for initiative as around the corner you hear the voices of four blue scales. God damn it. Oh, like, this ah, kill the humans! Ah, kill the red scales! Go! And everybody needs to roll blue for scales first. initiative. Oh, Biff is... Mm. Fuming. Mm. Jesus. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> God, this, this is so awesome. I'm gonna try to like pick some eyeballs and then maybe eat them. Oh, this is so great! I'm so happy. What is? Oh, I got a 16. All right, if you guys want to enter him in, go for it. I'm gonna roll for these guys. Oh yeah, that's true. The same. Oh no. I don't know. You go first. Yeah. All right. Uh, Biff Look is at those going. Blue scale bastards. Biff is going before Claral. Okay. Yeah, for the record, we got the same number. Did I get the knife before initiative? I would kind of like to know. Yeah, what you, you 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 lifted it off his dying body, as you yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Big whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? You died. We all die. Move wow, on. Loser. Get pity for it later. What? One second. What did you do, Winbo Rose? Again, Another bit. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Mumbo. Oh, uh, thank Are you. Are you hindering or helping? You gotta, you gotta help a while back, I think, for that fantastic opening. Oh yes, yes, character. it's true. Yeah. Thank you. Dobby no, no, but right now, Mumbo Rosa. Are you helping or helping the blue or hindering the blue, the blues? Team Blue. Hey, what oh, the hell is it? Team Blue Gateway, gateway Games. Team? Calm down. What <laughs> is going on in the chat? Come on. Yeah. Listen, it's red or dead, and they can't be red, so they're going to be dead. Mm -hmm. That's all that there is. Mm -hmm. That's I cannot that believe the chat is turning on Help us. Help the blue scales. I Hell can. yeah. Team blue. But. All right. <laughs> We're on the side of the breakfast buffet, which is what I'm going to call the Tarasks in my memory now. Yeah, <laughs> the breakfast bunch. Is everybody in? Yeah. All right, Peter. Yeah. All right. All right. In this order. Red plus blue equals purple. Yes. Dobby. Resistant. Going first. That's why it was a shade of purple. That's what you were saying that, right? Like, yeah, yeah. For these humans, they kind of look as you. the other ones run in. They look at you and then they look at the other ones and they're completely confused. They're like, but they're all purple. I don't understand. Good news, we can't understand them. That's Bye. offensive, first of all. <laughs> they don't all look the same. <laughs> Second of all. Okay. They're All right, I got being surrounded. They're counting us as geniuses way before they know. <laughs> Dobby, what do you do? Okay, so what moon blow? Oh, another help to you, DM. You have plus four. Yes, this Thank is you. incredible. I cannot Incredibly believe this. Upsetting. Incredibly, yes, yes, <laughs> seriously. All right, so I am moving toward the King Friends. I'm talking to the one with the sword. I take my sword too. Oh, you. Are we showing sword to each other? Okay! And then I take out my sword, uh, and then I try to uh, slash him. Okay. Which one? The we human? 22. Yeah, the one that's in first. Uh, the, okay, the one, hits. The, the one that looks like... Yeah, 22. Yeah, they're not that strong. You definitely hit them. I mean, I slash it for 8 point. And after that, <laughs> there is no problem. I should have done great weapon master attack, but I forgot. And then I do, um, and that's it. That's what I do. Okay. For now. As you do that, it's perfect timing because it's their turn. Oh, no. As they turn around to defend themselves against you and make two uh, slashing attacks. 
That is the but first one. I know friends. As you hit him. <laughs> first one's a 10. I, the first one's a 10. The second one is a 9. That's a hit. Tell me, friends. While I try to slash his face. Friends. We're friends. This is how we. Wait, this is friendship. Oh, this is great. Thank you, Chestus and Silverin, for the follows. Thank you, guys. And also, pure bull fit back there. Thank you guys for following. Thank you. I'm so, not gonna slash you. No problem. Moving no on problem. to Hick. No problem. Someone out. Hick. I don't, think there's any asking. I don't think there's any asking involved. Was it with like throttling and then you were turned down because they literally passed out? I feel like this is what happens. <laughs> All right. So your boy. Oh my God. Is it Biff or Hick? Is, it's oh. Hick first, right? Yeah. Hick first. yeah. Hick. Oh gosh. All right, so Hick is uh, going to back up into... Is there any place where you can stand where he's slightly elevated? Sh sure. Maybe here? Looks like here. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And uh, he's going to shoot, knock and loose an arrow at the guy with the sword. This guy. Okay, All right. perfect. So, let's see. That is... Oh, hang on. I got this, um... It's first time playing a ranger. Sorry, guys. Hang on. <laughs> okay, that, that is... Uh, 14. 14 hits. And that is, that will be... Plus... 11. Um, 11 damage. Okay. Ooh. 11 damage, and the first guy goes down. Just like that. Nice. This is doable, actually. Oh. Arrow through the eye. Okay. Well, can I, when he go down, goes down, there is a slow mo of my voice. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's mine. That's uh, that's me. Moving on then to Biff the Buff. Yes. God. Or, oh, he's dead. Actually, who has the higher decks? Or do or you just get one? Biff's okay. raring to go, though. Okay, yeah, Biff. so he's gonna go first. As a bonus action, and for the first time ever in my life, I fly into a rage. Oh! oh, oh. Rage! Rage! rage. Something like a sunburned alligator in the back just bellows. <laughs> 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 So, um, you are a little bit far. Let's see, 5, 10, 10 20. I actually, guess you guys... that's right. That would not be... Yeah, that wouldn't actually be smart. You know what, we'll I'm just put you guys here. Why don't we just put you guys here, and then say... Oh, oh thank you. you. Very kind. So you can get thoughtful. to the one that's already dead. <clears throat> dying. Dying. Not dead yeah. yet, but soon to be. Well, cowabunga. Um, <laughs> Biff comes in raging. Uh, and since I've got an ally within 5 feet, right? Yep. Yes. Cool. Pack tactics. Advantage on this attack. Oh, uh, yeah. You. Yeah, you're you, within. You're, you're my friend. With, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell her too loud because then she'll try to kill you. I, are you going to kill thanks to me? No problem. Just yeah. share a little bit of the blood so we can paint it on her face. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's raging, so yeah. Um. <laughs> Uh, oh. All right, eighteen plus uh, five. I believe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's two-handed with the battle axe. So that's going to be a D ten. Okay. Uh, damage. Yeah, and since it's a strength weapon too, let's see. So, fourteen slashing damage. Nice. Okay. <laughs> And she, already injured and on the ground, dies right there. Wow. Rough for all these humans in the way. All right. <laughs> what was the knife, Chris? Anything well, else? I don't have time. I don't have time right now. That's it. That's all I got. I do one thing. I do it well. I hit things. All right. Going on, then. Two. I hit them with the hurt stick. Floral. Um... 
I'm going to move on well behind my friends here because I don't want to actually get hit. And uh, using my superior foresight, I'm going to skip the human and cast... Can I make it? What count? I'll move up a little bit. One foot. And uh, cast a Mind Sliver on this bad boy here. Because I'm hoping the humans will... The human mm -hmm. will, I don't know, be confused and not hit me. So, okay. <laughs> uh, he's got to make an intelligent saving throw of 14. Whoa. It's asking a bit much. <laughs> Rough. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think Biff can make that. I don't think Biff can. Uh, no, that person fails. Oh, well, good. He's going to take a whopping... One psychic damage because I Holy rolled like cow. garbage. <laughs> uh, and then on his next save before my next turn, uh, he's gonna have to subtract a D4 okay. from it. Wait. Ouch! Wow. Get fucked. I thought the humans were gonna be most of a threat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Now yeah, it's so their cool. turn. Yeah. yeah. As you see, two of these people look. Two of these kobolds, these blue scales. I wouldn't call them people. God, no. I won't even call them kobolds. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. As I'm a noble. One of them. I'm a noble. Is running out at you with a crazy looking weapon <gasps> and moving that? quite quickly, faster than any kobold should. Let's go shoes. It gets all the way up to you. Stepping on the body of this first one and going for Dobby. <laughs> it makes two attacks. Right. Does he does he move past me? Uh where are you? Doesn't right move past you. Dobby. Oh no, it doesn't move past you, no, sorry. It okay. Just moves straight no, into you guys. Yeah. yeah. So Okay. As it does that. It makes two attacks. The first one is a fifteen. I open my arms like this. It hits? No. 15? No, no, no. It doesn't hit. No. Okay, the second one was no. a 25. What? I a middle finger. swing. He's got a 25. We did open the vault. Yeah. So that is six slashing damage and two. Oh, no, sorry. Six slashing damage. Got it. That's it. Six slashing okay. damage. The next one behind calls to the void and creates magical darkness right oh. over the three of you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Right <laughs> here. <laughs> All right. That's their turn. Nice. The last yeah. one casts Hunter's Mark on the other ranger that she can see and yes. blows two of her blowguns at you. The first one. At, us or at the hunter. At the hunter, the ranger. Yes. yes. All right. So. We're trying here. Oh, as you need to roll a dexterity saving throw. You said Hick? Yes, Hick. Hick, deck saving. Oh no, let's see, what is this? A mild headache, yeah. No. <laughs> you, you oh no, it. what is this? This is... A uh, 10. A 10. As this first blow dart hits you, you are engulfed in violet light and outlined you are hit by fairy fire. Any attack roll against you has advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And you cannot benefit from being invisible, but that's okay. The second attack, however, comes from her crossbow. She shoots it at you. Natural 20. Oh my, oh my God. God. Hi. And with that. Are we going to TPK? Like, I hope not. <laughs> He's ready for this. I'm coming this for you. Part two. Uh, Take. Babe. 
only 10 points of piercing damage as this bolt goes in. <laughs> the only. other two... Oh, the last one is pretty normal. And just kind of runs up to you. Really slowly. Can only get to here. And stops. And hits the human. It's Attempts sick. to hit the human. And misses. Sick. Damn. <laughs> Alright, moving on. To your dog, too. Oh, dog, dog too. too. Dog, too. <laughs> so, dog, spider. So, dog, too, is gonna skitter up a little bit on the wall here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's going to fly off the wall and, and, um, with the long spindly legs, grapple this uh, kobold over here. Okay. Uh, and, <laughs> strength check. Basically. <laughs> or dexterity check. Uh, that that would be not grapple. I just mean to bite. Ah. Okay. So that is sixteen to hit. Hits. Hits. Love it. And that would be. Uh, five piercing damage, uh, DC 11 con save. Okay. Man, I think dog is the most effective combatant we have. <laughs> no, I heard dog what two. happened. You don't have dog two. Three. Sorry, dog right. two. <laughs> okay, this one. Sorry, what was it? 11? 11. Fails. Fails. Love it. So he takes yeah. another eight poison damage. Yeah. Dog two, damn. Dog two. So what was the total? Mm -hmm. So that would be five and eight and nine, 13. Got it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Anything else from dog two? Uh, that'll be it. Okay, moving on then to... The human. The human. This poor human. This poor human <laughs> who looks at all this craziness, disengages and tries to run as fast as they can. Ah! <laughs> Sticking to the wall, only getting to there. Damn. Zoop. Yeah, he dipped. All right. Back to the top of the round, with Dobby followed by oh, no. Hick. Well, I told you happens when you run after me, and you didn't understand that, you stupid blue. And then, like, I run. So there's the blue one here in front of me, right? Oh, who am I? I am here. Uh huh. So what's yeah, the you're in darkness right now. See? You're in darkness right you now. You can't see. You can't see. Oh. So you have to run <laughs> out if you want to be able to do it. Seven, seven, six. Oh, thank can... you for following. Hey. Ooh, thank you, Sarah. Welcome. So, are you saying that I have to like get out here and then I can attack it? Yeah, you can attack inside. You just have disadvantage, but now you can. Yeah, perfectly good. Okay, you no, can I'm do not it. gonna do it. You stupid blue! You broke my heart. Maybe not you, but one of you. And then I grab my long sword and then I slash it with a nineteen. I try to slash the nose first. And then right. I do, you know, only uh, six points of slashing damage. And then, sir, because I am so angry, because I wanted to be friends, I wanted to be lovers, you know? And nobody wanted to be my lover. And then, wait, hey. Hold on, wait, hold on, stop. You wanted yeah. to be in love with a blue one. This is, this is garbage. Well, Good, you were disappointed. Rage. Well, that's 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 now. <laughs> when I was two years old. I want to be a lover, and then now I'm gonna use uh, this channel divinity. I've never tried, so I have no idea what it means. But it's champion challenge. Okay. <laughs> so I think I think they cannot leave me. They have to stay by my side. What <laughs> did they have to roll? Stay by my side. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, wisdom thirteen. Natural one. It'll depend. Great. On you. See? Now you don't want to leave me anymore. You want to stay with me. So as you oh, step out of this darkness and slash at this thing, surprisingly, you hit it. Not intimidated because you're crazy, but this thing is almost as big as Biff the Buff. In fact, it's quite large indeed. You take that person. Well, I am not scared because now you don't want to leave my side. So this person, 
Uh, actually, we're gonna fail save. Uh, can't can't willingly move more than thirty feet away from me. Okay. So they want to stay inside. Sounds good. Moving on to sure why, Hick, but... followed by so Biff the Buff after that. Question. Sure. The rulers, if we're judging by the squares on the... The ruler is completely the... wrong. It's fine. Oh, you can I just go to the squares, perfect. yeah. <laughs> squares, got it. Okay. Perfect. Oh, that's way easier. Mm -hmm. But I like the threat of the ruler. <laughs> seeing, like, seeing your seeing your compatriot like measure to you yeah. or just, like, the best <laughs> that is great just like you can plot thought processes that way yeah, that's good so uh so hick is going to dash to cover i assume this spot here would be a half cover cover full cover half cover yeah half cover okay and um move his hunter's mark to the nearest kobold, which would be, I can't click on it. Oh, this one. Yep, I see him. Yeah, that one. This I one. Can't click on it. The nearest, the nearest blue kobold. This one. Yeah. This. Okay. And he's going to, he's going to loose an arrow. I forgot I had sharpshooter feet. Okay, I'm on that. Okay, so uh, yeah. you are staring through. A the block darkness. of magical darkness. Oh, right. The darkness is there. Dang it. Yeah. Sorry, I can we back since I forgot about it. Sure. You want to go okay. back here? and You oh, can I'm, see him from here. I'm probably. just going back there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can kind of scoosh this way. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to um, move my, my hunter's mark to that guy. And then I forgot about my sharpshooter feet. Yes. 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 So that is an 18 to hit. 18 hits. And that would be 16 damage. Oof. Ouch. All right. Okay. God. Looking. Yep, I took the minus five. Yeah, Jesus. Fucking call your shot. <laughs> Holy cow. Looking bloody at this point. This big yes. dude. Yes. And, then, like, and then I'm going uh -huh. to run over there. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Nice. Moving on to Biff the Buff. What up? It's your boy. Yeah. Alright, I'm behind the dude. So, still raging. Did attack someone last round, so we got that good. So, I'm attacking the one everybody's been picking on. The in big true one? kobold fashion, yes. The big one. <laughs> There can only be one. Chris, you literally <laughs> have to tell me if it's Bap. Bap the bit? the kobold who broke his horn? Yeah. Close. Okay. This one is... Wow. Kip. Kip. <laughs> Kip. All right. The complex naming structure of the kobold boggles the mind. All right. Does an 18 hit? It does. Cool. Are you still inside? Um, no, I walked out. Oh. Who's inside? Yeah. Me. Claro. Oh. Yeah, so D10 plus five. D10 plus five. Come on, buddy. Yes. 15. Nice. Damage. Okay, it's looking pretty bad at this point. Been wailing on the same guy. <laughs> so close. So close. I don't want to stay by my side. All right. And now we move on to Claral. Um, we're standing like over two dead humans right now, right? In the darkness. Yeah. So my compatriots are distracted with actually fighting. No one can see me in the darkness. I'm just going to take this opportunity to like check their bodies for anything that would be useful for me. Claral, <laughs> the great and powerful. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. All right. But, you find on their body one healing potion. Oh, yeah. That did not help them very much. And ten gold. <laughs> Woohoo! 
Fuck you, rich. I've made it. Does she have any weapons on her? You literally have like a pile of gold worth like 2,000 something back at home. But yeah, this 10 gold yeah, is yours. This is mine. Yeah. 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 This is with anybody. That's the weird hey, thing. I'm usually libertarian. Wealthiest yeah. kobolds in the Absolutely. tribe. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, like, for flavor, I, under 30. I can't cast prejudication fully because it's an action, but, like, for flavor and just, like, shoot out sparks. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, I can't see. Ah, the darkness. <laughs> Nobody can see the sparks, but they can, uh, they feel the sparks. Right here. Yeah. Just, just in case. Get them, guys. All right. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> moving to... <laughs> so hard the first one of them the big man kip the warlord still standing after oh. being Jesus. wrecked by so many oh, takes his me. scimitar <laughs> and slashes one more time at dobby first one is a natural 20. jesus the second Bad. one is <laughs> a 23. <laughs> oh my god kip Stop. Oh, full damage. Holy cow. Oh so that is God. one. Bye. That is 10 points Dobby. for the first hit. Oh, no. Sorry. That's a natural 20. That would be <gasps> 15 points for the first hit. And for the second hit, a five. Uh oh. Well, you did compel him to stay close to you. So oh. I don't know what you were expecting. <laughs> All right. It's okay. I love it when he hurts. <laughs> oh God! This is oh no! <laughs> we didn't know. One new facet of this gem is flawed. <laughs> we I don't didn't like know. This. Was a freak. <laughs> the one that Biff the Buff ran up to in between mm. had just finished killing its own prey, and then sees Try you me. and me. pulls out its dark sword. Okay. Crackling with <laughs> no. necrotic energy. So glad I think actually, no, <laughs> actually, I'm confused. No, that's not it. That's not. The, is this the right one? Oh no, this mm. is the this is the normie dude. Yeah, Hell this yes. is normie boy. This is normie one. Normie. Let's go back to this one, who's going to try and take care of the spider with the sword. What? Not dog two. Not dog, dog two. two. Don't do it. Facing <laughs> void darkness. Let's see. That is. <laughs> 10 to hit. Oh, no, I got plus four. That is a 14 to hit. Does it hit your spider? Nope. Mm -mm. All right. You, you what a good boy. <laughs> so He's a good boy. And that's <laughs> all it can do as Normie tries to take a blog. hit at Biff. With a dog. <laughs> and Two, gets who, uh It's the only dog breed we can actually breed. It's a sixteen to hit. Biff? Oh, sixteen to hit? We thought that was That's a gonna dog. connect with me. Yeah. That's gonna we connect. Okay, a okay. Dog All good. And you take a whopping two, three points of damage. Three. That gets halved because I'm raging. So oh, is yeah. it two or one? Uh, one. <laughs> one point, one of damage. point of damage. As the last one moves their hunter mark toward Biff. No. Let me see here. I'm going to roll for it. Doesn't. It rolls for Dobby and takes two more shots. Hit me! Hit me! I like it! Because it's how we make friends! And this is how it goes! Like, you know, hit me once, I hit you twice! Yeah! No problem! You can see in my eyes, I don't care! The first one is a 21 to hit. I'm glad I'm in darkness. Oh god. The second one is a 18 to hit. <laughs> okay, second one, oh uh, no! It hits, uh, meets it, beats it, right? Yes. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah. so First one, you need to roll a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, 21. 21, so you're not affected by fairy fire. However, you do take four points of piercing damage as the crossbow hits into you. All right, but that is their turn. 
Okay. We move on to the spider. Wait, so are you down for sure or? No, no, I'm not there. I have six points left. Okay. Okay, okay. Good. Good. Just checking. Dog two. Dog two. Dog the two. The most effective team member. So Sorry, dog two is going to continue to bite this, uh, this, this enemy of his master. So. Right. Four. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. That's uh, 15. 15. Just hits. 15 to, just hits. Love it. And the. Should I add up? Uh, the, he needs to make a DC 11 con save. Oh. Fails. Fails. Yes. Love it. Dog. Heard him. Three, three. And uh, I, I, I can math. That's 11 points of damage. Okay. Wow! I'm just gonna single-handedly kill this cold Holy cow! <laughs> uh huh. Jesus. Anything else? Uh, just to creep out this cobalt more, he's just gonna skitter around his body. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's my nightmare again. No, he's not. I'm sorry. I'm circling you. <laughs> and the human he just slowly feels you with his arms. Runs away <laughs> as quickly as possible. Yeah. Bye. Bye, bitch. Go, woman. Go. Telling the tale you. of the kobolds forever yeah. to come. We have a blood feud to, to okay. solve. Moving back to the top of the turn order with... Dobby. What, is it already my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Dobby. Oh, listen. Okay. It's Followed by Hick. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> touch myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then anybody else I'm gonna do like I'm gonna look at the one I'm gonna do like I feel it I don't yeah. want anybody I I else <laughs> when I think about you I touch myself oh. yeah. Yeah. Like cool. I, I touch cry. myself <laughs> and then I do lay on hands Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, like, I give myself I think, a 15 points. <laughs> All right. So I touch myself and I, and I say, like, oh, yeah, it feels good. Ooh, it feels good. It feels good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Hey, what's going on inside of this dark club? <laughs> Moving on. I don't want to see it, but I just, you have a reputation. <laughs> All right, you're not trying to seduce them. You're trying to kill them. All right, just remember that, Bobby. Okay, just remember. <laughs> no purple. I'm just healing myself. Pick what you got. <laughs> My <Mike, laughs> suddenly right. holy water starts to drip from this cave ceiling. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. Mike says, "Nope, don't oh, like that God. at all." No, <laughs> God, he's wet. no, not at all. <laughs> okay, so they're wet. Sorry, I gotta use. Still, the preferred pronouns. Still be hurt. <laughs> you can still so, be hurt. I still got a line of sight. I still got okay. a line of sight here. Take him out of it. Take it down. Okay. Take him out of his misery. He's gonna pop back over to the other spot. Okay. Um, he, Hunter's mark is still on that guy. Yeah. Four. Mm. What? Oh no! Hang on one second. I don't think I hit him. Uh, 13? 13, unfortunately, does not hit as it bounces mm. off his breastplate. Bing. Dang it, okay. And uh, I think that's it. All right. Moving on, then. Two. Biff, followed by Clarl. I am bringing down the big one. Continuously, forever. <laughs> Amen. Do it. <laughs> Do your best. Yeah. Quick, before he gets seduced. Swing with advantage again. <laughs> with advantage again. Uh, it's not gonna get it. Not gonna get it. 11's oh, not gonna get it. Oh no! Him. Oh no! Misses! Again! Help. You see as he Is flexes, kind of looks at you up and down as I <sighs> gives a flex. Your axe bounces off his chest plate. Oh my god. <laughs> Seething now. Seething. <laughs> <laughs> just white hot. 
got him, right? You got him. We're three rounds in, right? Oh, parallel uh, resistance yeah. got it. Totally biffed it. That's right. Uh -huh, you got help. Uh, plus I, one, does he help or not? Plus one. No. Plus one wouldn't help because that'd bring me up to a 12 and 13 didn't hit. All right. So, oh, okay. anything else? Barbarian. I think no, that's it. I do one thing. I do one thing. I swing the axe. Okay, Claral, followed by them. I've moved myself preemptively up to this spot because that's where I've got to go. Oh, at last I can see again. And I'm going to cast a. I'm going to cast Ice Knife uh, at the big barbarian guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, Why? and. What? Just go. Why? Why do I have ice? <laughs> no, just just read the effects. Oh, and then it says, oh. hydrate everyone. <laughs> Wait, you're right. <laughs> a ray. It's a it's a beam, right? <laughs> no, it's a projectile. <laughs> Fragments upon impact. Yeah. <laughs> no, you won't. Hurt. Not Try. you, but I will get the one who's just making everyone uncomfortable. That's true. Unfortunately, that's going to be into it, so honestly, <laughs> I'm doing everyone a favor. She got a lot of hit points back. They got a lot of hit points oh, back. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, you can okay. make a dexterity saving throw, so I'm going okay, to... Okay, yeah, dex I'm save. Gonna, I'm going to make a... I'm going to attack. Just got to make a... Hold on. I'm going to make a spell attack on him. Do, do, do. Meanwhile, everybody can hydrate because Lambic said hydrate. Wow. Hydrate. Oh. Does an 11? I don't think it does. Does an 11 hit them? Unfortunately, it doesn't. And then the new question can I still get the advantage of pack tactics if these two are within five feet of him and I'm not? Looking. If at least one of your allies is within five feet of the creature and the ally is incapacitated, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try again, because I have advantage from pack tactics. And I do hit him with a 20... No, I got a plus six. 25. All right, Woo! you do. So Ice Knife looks like it misses, and then it hits him right between the eyes. Bink! All right. And uh, he's going to take... Oops, I accidentally... Ah, it's rolling for That's me. Yeah, so it's going to take one... Sword burst. Oh. Thank you. No, it's... Uh, it's oh, yeah, oh. it is. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> he's going to take 1d10 damage, piercing damage, and he takes 9 piercing damage. Okay. And then uh, the target and everyone within 5 feet of him needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Mm. What? That includes my friends. Oh, yes. Fine. That's a scene effect, so because I'm a barbarian. It's gonna explode. So, <laughs> four... I'm a barbarian. what's the DC? 14? 14. Oh, he just barely 15. gets it. Okay. All right. Did everyone make it? I think so. Yeah. Uh, I make it when like I'm doing my lay on him. Like, except for oh, Biff. God damn it. 12. 12. No. You don't make it. You it's take so 8 cold damage. You take 4 cold damage. What did you do? Is it 12 or 13? Because there's a plus 1 from 14. the chat. So if you need it. Minus a 14. I have Before I Jared. Oh, okay, no. so not enough. Doesn't All right. Matter. Moving on. Thank you, chat. It explodes, and so I did my part. Okay. You take 4 damage. Yeah. He is very looking total. real bad, but also still very much alive as he... Rages. Damn, that's how it would work. Metaphorically. Okay. And, <laughs> and attacks. Dobby. And misses. You, you wanted him there. And, and hits. I'm still doing my sexy dance. No, <laughs> no. You take four points of slashing so damage. Two. Four? Yeah. Slashing. Oh. And I say, oh, you want to touch me, right? Oh, yeah, you want to touch me. You want to touch me. Well, you can't touch me. All right. <laughs> Moving on to the other one. <laughs> the normie <laughs> is going to try and hit Biff. It's a natural one. <laughs> the other one's going to try and hit the spider again. Gets a 17. Oh, okay. He gets dog, too. Oh, no. <gasps> Let's see. Oh, do you know? This is about to become personal. It's about to be dog three. I thought it was already personal. 
<laughs> I can't imagine he's got a lot of hit points. <laughs> John Hick is back. Uh, ooh. What is that? That's, a uh, Nine points of necrotic damage. No, Dog 2 is still up. Oh, not oh. Dog 2 is still up. Okay, good. <laughs> you can't lead with no. That's... Uh, yeah. The, no. <laughs> the last one is gonna try and shoot Biff again. Let's see. That is. Oh no! It's still, it's still. It's gonna move Hunter's mark to Biff. Yeah, and then the first one is a. Oh, so you, actually, you need to make a dexterity saving throw, Biff. Blue Ash Sands. Me? Hello. I'm here for a bit because I need to sleep. Yeah. Something I can see, Chris. Yes. Cool. Uh, I've got advantage on those saves then. Yeah, you do. So, 13? 13 still doesn't save, unfortunately, as they are now a fairy fire. Oh, again, plus get... one? Does, huh? he, does he help oh, him yeah, on okay. plus one? Yeah. Oh, 14? Okay, 14 is okay. okay. So, so you take it. But they still yeah. roll. Without, without advantage, they roll 18 to hit. Does that hit? Yeah, 18 going to hit me. Wow. And you take... Yeah, Five points of piercing damage. All right, rounded down to three or two? Like half. Two. Two? Gotcha. Yeah. All right. God. And you see as this one who's been shooting things at you, it's like, it's, it's hopeless, and like, starts to run away. Bye. Bye, bitch. Oh. 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 I'm not, they're, they're kobolds. No, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got all right. pain to it. Go back to the top of the round. Oh no, it's the spider's turn. Spider's yep. turn. Come on, dog, dog two. two. Finish the job. Dog two. Finish the job, dog Bye, two. Finish the so, job. You know, this asshole cuts off a couple of its legs while it's scaring around on him, and it's it, it, it like, yeah. It, there's a hiss. There's a hiss of pain, and then he's going to bite the shit out of his face. Okay. He's biting the shit out of his face with. Ooh, 21. Oh, yeah, Ooh. hits. Doctor is uh, killing it. DC 11 poison. Uh, okay. Conte. That is a three. Ha, ah, love this. <laughs> uh, uh, 14. And the first of the cobalts goes down. Dead. The blue scales. Right. Oh, it got in the face. <laughs> All right. the One of the blue scales goes down. Only two left. Anything else as we move back to the top of the round with Dobby followed by a bit of Hick. No. No? Okay. Dobby. Spit on him. And then now that I heal myself, uh, I, I'm still like, kind of shaking and moving. Okay, friends, I'm back because I feel so much better after touching myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I grabbed oh. my... Long sword, and then let me show you how we do this. And ching, and then I slash him, and then I don't slash him because fucking trolls. <laughs> <laughs> you were too into your dance. Yeah, yeah. You just start dancing on the sword. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You don't tell people right. how good you are with your sword. You just do it and press them that way. Oh my oh, shit! I'm glad well, we have built up to that. Advantage for pack tactics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, pack tactics. Yeah. Right? Oh, Can I do in that again? case, yes, I, get, I need advantage. to reroll. Oh, in that case, Biff does get hit. Everyone has advantage. We're all kobolds. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. I forgot. The good news is the bad news, which is we have advantage and they have advantage. What do I get hit by? Nothing. I got hit by something last round. Yeah, you got you got hit. It's fine. That's why I didn't yeah, need okay. to reroll. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so can, can I still re did, did you give the damage? You reroll. Yeah, reroll. To Biff. Yeah, it's fine. I reroll. Okay. Yeah, reroll. So I reroll and then fucking two. Oh what, man. I got one and then two. Wow. Working up, what eventually get to three. Yeah, 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 only up from here. Yeah. All right. Uh, once again, <laughs> and if I do, <laughs> no, nothing. I can't do anything. All right. Whatever. Moving on. I don't care. I was just like, you know, just. Hey, it's okay. It's give just yourself practice. Some credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Give yourself some credit. You are doing a lot. Yeah. Everyone I'm in this room so very uncomfortable, and that takes. <laughs> <laughs> Epsilon Cross says, the way Dobby does the attacks is both mesmerizing and disturbing. 
Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that everybody has an actual oh. minus 10, psychological minus 10, mental minus 10. Take it down to tonight. Do that. Do that. Night. Night. <laughs> All right, Hick, followed I, by Biff. I'm going to process what I'm seeing. Thank God. So yeah. Hick, um, Hick is going to, again, shoot at the one that the closest cobalt, cobalt um, for 19 to hit. Oh my god. Yeah, it hits. And tw 21 points of damage. Okay, and it goes <laughs> down. <sighs> <sighs> Through the eyeball. That's right. All right, there's only one left. Yeah. The normie is the only one left. He's just looking around oh, like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys? <laughs> Can I steal and my axe and pick up that scimitar? Yeah, you can. What is it? Oh, you need to move over, though. Do you want to get it? Oh, the scimitar the, he, the the big dude had, or the void sword? Oh. There's a void sword thing. What? The void sword? I want to take the void sword. It's just in front of me. I take it. No, it's the no, one the, 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 the spider killed. Oh, good one. I'm going to roll. Okay, okay, roll for it. I'm going to roll. Highs. Biff does the smart thing and goes for the big nasty black sword. Lowe's he stays and gets the little scimitar thing. Okay. Yeah. He goes gets the big Biff nasty black sword. Huh? Biff rolls a nineteen and he gets like the, he like darts over for the like he he mans this new sword. Okay. <laughs> so when that this sword runs away. is in fact cursed, as you pick it up. <gasps> It was the smart thing. It's like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, hello, another <laughs> owner. Oh, I mean, victim. What? Huh? <laughs> My name's Biff, not victim. <laughs> <laughs> However, it is a plus one sword and it does 1d8 necrotic damage. But that's all. Nice. Okay. Chris? Yeah. Is it a long sword? Uh, it is a. It is a. Hold on one sec. Who's up next anyway? So, Claro, what are you me. doing? Um. I'm gonna cast. Fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna cast Ray Frost at that last dude. Alright. Uh, so. Eat it. <laughs> 17. 17 hits. And he takes five cold damage, and his speed is reduced by 10 feet Ooh. until my next turn. So five. when he tries to run away, he's going to get caught by someone. <laughs> okay. Well, with five, this one just goes down. <laughs> he's oh, like, ah, 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 and he's gone. <laughs> Uh, so is it, is a, it is Biff, a longsword, yes. The other ones are just normal scimitars. So I have a cursed plus one longsword? That's right. It's a cursed one. With necrotic damage. Ooh. No slashing, just necrotic. Yeah. All right. Oh, so All right. I have blood! Um, so if I swing it two-handed, I get a d10? That's correct. Perfect. Perfect. Anybody has a healing potion? I feel like uh, I got a little bit hurt, just a tiny bit, and I need a little bit of, uh, you know, healing. Yeah, that would be great if somebody had a healing potion. Oh, well, <coughs> Biff, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody? No. You hear the sword like, What if we can just search the humans? Maybe they've got something down there. Did anybody think to do that? Chris, what are you doing? Did Chris? <laughs> Excuse me. Say what? I think Chris was trying to say something about Did you say Chris? Oh, no, the sword yeah. is just whispering like, Yes. Why don't we kill some more people? Hell yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, God. These three in front of you All look right. really good to kill. I mean. No, like, th we were looking for blue people. Oh. Right. I mean, you're kind of all purple, aren't you? How dare you? That's offensive. <laughs> First of all. But you don't have to be mean about it. <laughs> 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 and you guys uh, I, I look, yeah. now see in the vault as you're standing there oh yeah the trapped corridor that leads to the vault itself 
Looks like the blue scales were trying to get inside. Oh, those fuckers. God, those assholes. So can we try to go where oh, is it? Question. Sure. I turn on the I turn on my stone of far speech and listen to hear if they've got any news about us. Since one of them escaped and we just killed the big baddie. I turn it on and listen for like 30 seconds. Do they say anything? They do. You start to hear them say, oh. ah, hurry, hurry, they're coming. We need to take all the other things. Go, go, loot the big pile, oh, go. No, oh, no, the guys are going for the big pile. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, go. We let's go, let's go. And if you find any healing stuff, give it to me because I'm kind of bleeding out right now. All right, let's go. Don't worry, you'll be the first one I give it to. Sure. <laughs> I believe you because we're friends. Sure. <laughs> Run toward the vault. Yep. <laughs> okay. No, in, the vault, in the vault, as you get there, what you see is a trapped corridor. I need you to make... Oh, actually, you don't even need to see. You can. Or you don't even do anything yet. As you get to the entrance, you see there are spinning blades that spring out of the wall constantly. And any character that would try to enter would have to deal with these blades or get sliced in two very easily. How do we the deal with the blades? The penitent man shall pass. Right. Yeah. But unfortunately, we're all kobolds, so we repent nothing. <laughs> <laughs> How do we do... Can I roll something to, like, investigate or whatever? Yeah. To see? Yeah, sure. Um, Did anyone set these up? Roll an investigation History. check. Oh, four. Four. Is also oh, going to roll I don't know. I mean, those blades, they don't look that bad. I should be okay. Oh, God. I'll do the funny thing. I'll roll an investigation at minus one. <laughs> I get a 13. 13. I mean, there's a lot of blades. They're just moving. It's crazy. It looks very dangerous. <laughs> All right, so... Does it mean that we should go to the other one, the monster's vault or something like uh, that? Can I can I actually do what Biff suggested? Because we maintain these dungeons, right? Yes. Do any of us have to maintain this corridor, or do we know the person who would maintain it? And like, could we turn it off? You do know the person, yeah. Yeah. The Dragon yeah. Queen herself maintains Fuck. this corridor. Oh. Wow. Mm. Uh, yeah. What if I try oh, to tap into my draconic ancestry? and command it to turn off. Me. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. True. <laughs> That's a good deal of like self-confidence and I'm really proud of you, bud. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I've been working. All right, in that case, <clears throat> I'll just, we'll just run to the other one, the monster's vault. It's okay, whatever. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna get sliced up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a lot of warm bodies we could use as meat shields. Why don't we just try that? There's two okay. humans, boy. They're like two and a half kobolds. And one and a half... <laughs> Slicing... Slicing bodies? Oh, oh this is so We're not trying to cut them in half. We're just using them so that if we get cut in half, we don't actually... We have enough time to back away. Right. <gasps> I'm gonna go grab one body quickly. <laughs> He's gonna try it. Alright. Oh, I'm grab two bodies, actually. Hey. Yeah, and then I'm covering myself with the two bodies. Hey, okay. <laughs> so you're gonna have to move it half speed, and also oh, now you have uh, disadvantage on dis dexterity saving throw as you move through. However, you do have some extra armor, so I'll say you take half damage what as you move through. But what's the what's the AC? I mean, what's the thing? Like you know, I'm very. Covered, Are you moving like... through? Are you moving through? Yeah, I'm gonna try just to... yeah, I'll try. Okay, you move through I'm and watching. I need you to roll a dex save, go. Ah, yo. Uh oh. We, uh, with disadvantage? Yeah. Oh la la! Those bunnies, they're not really helping very much. It hurts a <laughs> lot. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, can I try to use Gust to assist him on the dex save? To like blast him through. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. What was your highest roll? Yeah. Eight. Eight. Okay. Almost two ten. 
it wouldn't it wouldn't help so if they did a straight roll they would All still right. get the first hit so as you walk through the first blades do cut into the bodies and then into you as they slice the arms and legs <laughs> off you take 10 points of slashing damage as the what? blades keep going that? five points of slashing damage <laughs> <laughs> not really sure it's a good idea because I can feel like my life is leaving my body. You're still but, stuck uh, inside the corridor. You don't really have time to talk. Either keep moving in or move it out. And ready, go. Make another deck save. Okay. I, I, <laughs> you no longer I have the bodies. Out. You no longer have the bodies on you. I move out. I move out. You have I 20 feet to go. Are you sure? Okay. I still uh, have. I'm close. While, yeah. while this is happening, is there a clear spot on the other side of the corridor that I can there land There is. There's the on? door that clearly goes to Vault 17. So I am going to step on Dobby and go basically jump up onto Dobby and spring into that clear spot. Okay, go ahead and make a deck save as you try to jump through. Oh, it's 30 feet away though, by the way. Oh, uh, no. really far well, acrobatics? Just watching this happen. Just say, just <laughs> Okay. I'm hoping secretly that they're gonna clog it up. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> That's Clarl's hope. Come on, what's up? <laughs> oh, 23! Fuck. Oh. 23. <laughs> you yes, you're so easily, confident. jumping on Dobby and passing through, you easily clear this area and make it to the other side unscathed as you twist and turn through the slashing blades in the walls and you are standing in front of a large stone door with three runes on it. Dog 2 follows me, he's just on the ceiling. No. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? This I don't know. Don't be excited. Listen. He's still in there. there you gotta get out before okay. you get excited. Okay, Number so I do two, two that save again. 18, 20, 20, 20, 30, 20. Mm. You make it through as well. 30, oh! Two dirty 20. You make it through wow. easily, Magic. following Hicks' lead. Mm -hmm. And you guys make it on the other side. You're standing in front of the stone door with the runes in it. What do you do? Thanks for the help. And I'm going oh. to... Can, so do I know these? I have, have I ever read these runes before? Can no. I read? Oh, okay. Do I see any keyholes? No. Don't think of the keyholes, please. <laughs> I've been over this. <laughs> so, can we investigate what he means on stuff? Like, I'm gonna investigate. Because, you know, 12. 12. Mm. It looks like... the runes do something. <laughs> hey, Mousy! Hello! Good morning from Mousy Land. Hello, hello. Can we learn the runes hey, are Mousy. doing something? Uh, if... if I learned, I learned from the last chest uh, to check for traps. Okay, roll investigation check. Investigation... 14. 14. Wow. Why do you guys always roll so high in combat and so low and everything else? Yeah. As you guys... Stupid. <laughs> to be fair, I roll low on most things. I do one thing well. Yeah. <laughs> 14. As you try to push the door, the runes activate. You see them light up in, in succession. And immediately you're overcome by an illusion of your most hideous and insane fear standing right in front of you in the door. Whatever that is. What is that? Please tell us. The, a dead dog too. Dead dog too. Oh. Oh. Or at least something trying to kill dead dog too, because oh you need to God. run away as fast as you can back through the corridor ah, and make another, oh, another deck saving throw. Wait, look, he's coming back. He's coming back. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, fourteen. We're chewing Four lizard legs or something. Team, this time not doing as well <laughs> uh you take ouch 16 <laughs> points of slashing damage coming back through how much 16 points Ugh. 16 
Hey, However, hey. the runes, having activated the door, tsh, tsh, opens up, and the vault yeah, is standing before <laughs> Dobby. Do the, do the, Chris, do the blades stop? They do. I go in. Me huh? too. I'm with him. I go in. No, first, first I go in and grow my first. Okay. I'll let, I'll let Dobby roll first. Roll a d6. A d6? Okay. Lovely. And then everybody okay, else, yeah. roll dexterity. Let's roll initiative, dexterity, or just roll initiative to see who goes after Dobby. Hey guys, what's up? Hey. <laughs> hey. Well, I'll tell you what's up. OBS just crashed. Actually, I think it was the whole internet crashed on our end, and then it killed off OBS. OBS came back for us. You can see us. You just couldn't hear us, right? Mm. Anyway, where were we? I think I don't know if I dare try and start Sirenscape again. <laughs> are we are we are we living dangerously? Tonight? We're living dangerously. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna try. So, Ready? Maybe for the new people. Oh. Maybe for the new people. Um, uh, Amanda, you can explain what's up while um, Chris is like trying to oh, start yeah. siren. Oh yeah. Please narrate. So here's my Amanda, go. We're a bunch of money grabbing uh, cobos. Money, money grabbing gar cobos. Money guarding. Money guarding. Money grabbing cobos, which is kobolds. And um, we're part of Team Red. Uh, some people would say that we all look purple, but we would say that we're part of Team Red. There's also Team Blue, which are also kobolds. We all live in the same cave. It's a whole mess down here because we have to work together. It's a working relationship, but we hate each other, secretly and not secretly. And we will do anything to stab each other, and it would be a great drama. But anyway, our boss is like a dragon, and she's been gone for basically forever. Some people would say it's only 10 days, but they don't live the life of a kobold, and so it's literally been forever. And in the absence of leadership, we've decided to do the natural thing and murder each other and steal all the gold so that we can finally establish dominance over the blue bastards that have been ruining our lives. So in the meantime, we four chuckle fucks decided to wander out of our cave armed with nothing but a single treasure chest full of a wand that we haven't used, a pearl of power that we haven't used, and two totems of trees that we haven't used yet. Mainly because they all belong to our drunken ranger they who all has no need of them. <laughs> the drunken ranger who has no need of them and... Okay, that's another story. So, the, the <laughs> wings were chuckle fucks. No, no, stay, stay objective, okay? Stay yeah, objective. Yeah, yeah. We this is... Pronounce this the is crack okay, talking. <laughs> crack squad is in the squad that's on crack, yes. That's us. And so we have gone out and so far killed three humans, three and a half humans, because one of them was already on death's doorstep, but we're counting it. Finish that. <laughs> Technically, the last one did run away, but the point is that they're gone. We also killed three out of four kobolds. And it might be true that a spider killed one of those three kobolds. <laughs> you mean oh, dog two? Stone. Dog uh, two. A spider named dog two. Single-handedly. <laughs> Single-handedly with no help killed a kobold that possessed an insanely powerful cursed magical sword but we would call this a team win because that's what we're all about and also in the spirit of team teamwork we convinced two of our cohorts to go down a murder cavern all by themselves while the other two watched which is where we paused purposefully to add suspense yeah. And not exactly. that crashed and went out. It was this has been the halftime show. It has been blown away by the one thing that And now, for your patience and uh, for still being here, we're going to perform the song Don't Stop Me Now because apparently <laughs> it was a request from the channel. That was YMCA, <laughs> was a request. I don't know oh, how you guys YMCA? jumped into that. We did YMCA. We did okay, YMCA. Uh, let's do it. Let, let me pull out the lyrics, and we're gonna do what I'm saying. And we're gonna go back quickly a little bit. Did somebody request it? Like they actually requested a and song? Then we're gonna involve. Yeah. Them. We're gonna oh. introduce the crack squad right before they All get right. cracked by whatever the hell we try to find. Yeah, that somebody said why I'm here. Great recap. Okay, yes, Crafty Gobbo. That was an amazing recap. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> You're <laughs> welcome. So. <laughs> What is it? Young man. No, it's fun to stay. Oh, just fun. It's fun to me. Young man. It's like this. Young man. I don't know the words to this song. Are they going to wait to encourage or what? Like, everybody's like singing their own I don't know. I didn't look it up. Where'd go? Is that the day of the YMCA? 
It's fun to stay at the YMCA. You can get your hair clean. You can have a good meal. You can do whatever you need. The bot says we're live. Look at that. Finally. <laughs> Caught up. Okay. You're so... Oh, so. your bot is... The bot is finally... The bot is alive. Uh, As we move right. on, we were just rolling. Mm. So, Dobby, why don't you... What'd you roll on your D6? Everybody else, what'd you roll four. on your initiative? A four. Yeah. Uh, 19. 16. I saw this. What? 19, 16. Oh, sorry, 13. I thought it was 10. 15. 15. Plus 7 plus 3. Oh, sorry. I got a 10. I thought you were saying I got a 10 on the die. I oh, forgot. I got a 19. All right. I got a 15. Okay, so <laughs> then we go from Biff to Hick to Clarl in mm -hmm. that order. The first thing okay. that is grabbed by Dobby is a cloak of the bat. <laughs> you can look that up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. And then Whoa! Biff, why don't you roll a 1d6? If it's a 4 or a 6, you can re-roll. It's a 5, Chris. 5. You Look go straight for the biggest thing you can see, which is another chest. A very secure oh. chest. And you know there's got to be something good in there. Something real good. Wait. Stop. You are afraid of chests. I'm afraid of a chest. A chest. <laughs> I tried. But I know it was the bad stink. The chest farted at me. So I go about and I investigate it via sniffing. Like, what's happening to this chest? <laughs> All right. Go and do an investigation check. As Hick rolls a 1d... Let's go 1d4. 1d4. Chris. And two. Number of the day. Remember the day. What'd you what'd you get? Got a five. Oh. <laughs> Six minus one. I'll remember that. Okay. So remember that. <laughs> there is no There is no trap on this chest. You can be sure with your amazing <laughs> investigation check. Well, However it is. Yeah. Securely locked. <laughs> What's that neat dagger I got earlier that I never found out about? It just looks cool. Just a We're dagger. Cobalt. It was just a nifty dagger. Oh. But we just like his. That's going in the lock to try and jimmy it open. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Scuba Duck, thanks for the follow. Hey. However, I like that. What's up? I think I have to remember runs in, question. taking the first thing <laughs> they think is the best, which happens to be a marble elephant. Yes. <laughs> a figure of wondrous power, marble elephant. Oh, dang. Yes, this is the best thing. <laughs> if the ranger this can't is... go to the forest, the forest is going to come to the ranger. It's almost, it's almost yeah, poetic. The... Two dreams and an elephant. <laughs> can't believe you got this. It's crazy. So... Yeah, you got the uh, you got the figurine of Mar uh, wonder whatever power. And it's a it's an <laughs> elephant. It can become an elephant for twenty four hours. Oh my god! But it can't be used hey, again until a, seven days have passed. But that's okay. gonna, I'm gonna say that's a long time to have an elephant. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Muffin Man so Jenkins. Hey, hello, Scuba Duck. Hello, so hello. what happened is we actually start late. I don't know if you know we're here in Taiwan, and. Uh, so it's late for us. It's almost getting to midnight. We had a stream going, and then uh, OBS decided to kick us out, so we had to restart. But thanks for joining yeah. us, and thanks for the follow. Love it. Hi. Glad you could make it. So, yeah. Welcome. there's I'm one thing left to this take. No, there's two things left to take. Do you want one, number one, or number two as you run into the room, Clarl? One well, you can see is a ring, and one is a staff. Oh, I'm vain, but I do need magic. The staff, definitely, because I want to get that other one. The staff. Yeah. Is the staff of fire. Ooh. This is most fire. fire. Yes. As an ice dragon, this is conflicting for me. <laughs> <laughs> ice dragon. 
with the bloodline of frost that runs through my whole veins. Shh. Just keep That's kind of like the ring. Work. You know, just for flavor, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the staff of frost. What about that? Yes. <laughs> my divine blood right finally realized. <laughs> <laughs> hey, play yeah, nerd allies. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. It snows on me. Chris. Oh, yay. Chris, yeah. what do I got to do to open this chest, though? Sorry? What do I got to do to open this chest? Oh, did you, what did you roll? Did you roll sleight of hand? No, I didn't. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. You rolled That's... sleight of stab. Nah. Yeah, come <laughs> So excited. Sorry. All right. Okay. Sorry. It's you definitely take this dagger, poke it inside. <laughs> And it just pops Stand open. Up. It wasn't even that locked. Whatever. I, I don't know what the big deal was. God. And inside, you find two arrows of dragon slaying. Ooh, I don't know what that is. It sounds awesome. I think we should have those. They got nothing but tiny spears in here. <laughs> it is a very expensive and powerful item that you cannot Wait, use. Show me the tiny spears. Useless. Show me the tiny spears, babe. I like I toss the tiny spears to Hick. It's like you use these. <laughs> I walk back out to get the scimitar. I'm so afraid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I get the Meanwhile, scimitar? I guess Chris doesn't. The DM doesn't want to because I asked him twice. What? No. No. What you ask me? I have the ring. The ring. Oh. So you're the first one to say it. So you do. You grab the ring, and you have now a ring of telekinesis as well. Oh God. So we're, was he talking in their mind? <laughs> no, you're not gonna think so. All this stuff like that. You can <laughs> you can get into people's brains and talk to them constantly. No, you can move stuff. You, it's not it's t- telekinesis. You can move stuff, not telepathy. It's not telepathy. Oh yeah. shit. No. Uh, Chris, can I go get that scimitar that was chilling outside? Yeah, there too. You get it. You get that scimitar. Mm-hmm. What was it? Not it was like a this. scimitar. We've got Sully's character. We <laughs> <laughs> it is a scimitar. However, you do find something else on the body. Oh. A potion of speed of haste. That's so fast. That's why that was working. I'll take that too. All right. There's no healing potions. No. no. Weird. Haven't found uh, any yet. Bizarre. I don't know. Whack. That is so weird. I don't understand. But I mean, she reminds me of have loads of them, but I don't know what happened this time. We should go back outside through the danger corridor. All right. Okay. All right. As you do that, you have choices. <laughs> you are in Vault 17. You found some of the most powerful items in your section of the Mega Dungeon. However, there are two nearby rooms that you haven't been in. One, the infamous and still unsolved riddle room. I, I hope to God that it's like, sing the ABCs. And we're just like, God, what could it mean? Five. And the next one, the monster <laughs> wing. So... All right, guys, listen, we got to go to one of these because I did turn on the stone. I turned it off, by the way. I did turn on the stone. And the other guys are definitely going for more treasure and the big, they're going for the big pile. The big stakes, big pile. <laughs> they're already there. We've got to kill them all in their families. Uh, for generations to come. It's got to be a okay. thing in the bloodline. There's uh, no problem. That's right. Okay, good. We also need more stuff than a really cool, a really cool stick. All the stuff, all, all the shit that, that he has. And then, then the two swords. I, it's not enough. It's not enough to salt the fields, you know. So Nobody here knows what that means. I don't know why I said that. Okay. I, it's I, not are you just saying steal, 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 steal? Is it what you're just saying right now? If I simplify everything you're saying? Let's go to the monster corridor because I think that you're ready to touch okay. some stuff and get eaten. So let's just. Let's I just... love touching. I love touching. So I will touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or is everybody in agreement you're moving to the monster wing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm following I'm along. Gonna... I'm in the back introducing Dog 2 to the elephant. Okay, the marble the version. The <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna definitely touch. You have to legally tell us if there's an elephant here. <laughs> okay. 
As you move into this wing, you smell the strong, musky odor of animals hitting your reptilian nostrils. This circular cavern before you contains multiple barrels filled with chunks of old meat, rotting fungi, and murky water. Propped up on one of the walls are several ten-foot poles, some of which have rusty metal hooks attached to one end. Other poles with loops of rope thicker than a kobold's arm. In addition to the entrance, four other narrow and tunnels exit this room, leading into darkness. A variety of low growls, snarls, moans, and scrapes can be heard from all four. In the middle of the chamber, several dirty bedrolls are arranged around a fire. A one-armed kobold sits there, staring into the flames. Hearing your approach, he turns and studies you with his one good eye. Ah, yep, he says pensively. Come to replace my old apprentice. Is he blue or red? He's red. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> We're about to feed him to the right. old apprentice, wherever he may be. Well, <clears throat> might as well sit down. He's gonna be your home for a while now. Yeah, we came to bring Jeff the new. Re- walking over to take no, a Biff, seat. Biff, stop! No, not you! Not you! Not you! <laughs> not you! We're signing up, Dobby. To be the apprentice, because Dobby loves to make friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? You're hindering me? No. Yes, Come on, Mousy. Thank you. Thank What's you. Going yes. What's going on? What's going on? What? Nothing. What's going on? There's no problem. I want to be your friend so we can fight each other and make each other suffer and good too. There's no problem. I am ready to learn. Oh, I love knowledge. I love painful knowledge. Let's Biff do this. Step away from Dobby. Just. Oh. <laughs> I want to be part of that. Let's do this. Calls all the assemble to come. Oh well, well, if you if you're really that excited, I mean, we can meet the the creatures now if you'd like. Yeah. Sure. But before that, can I ask you something, new master? Oh. <laughs> can I ask you something? Do you have a healing a potion? <laughs> Do you? A healing potion. He kind of looks at his arm with his one good eye. Looks at you, he's like... That's rough. Hell no. Come on, it's not very much what you have compared to my little scar here. No problem. So? No. No. Okay, I'm ready. I'm going to take a step back behind the elephant. (laughs) I'm going to take a step back behind the elephant. I don't want to be between something and these beasts. (laughs) Just sneak it back a little bit, too, with the sword out. (laughs) Okay. Do you... Which... One, two, three, four. Which one do you want to go in first? Uh, Two. Is there a new map? Yeah, Chris, Chris, sorry. Is there a new map? Uh, Yeah. Actually, I can't see it. Oh. We can't see it. There's no map. There's no map. Oh. We're doing theater, theater of the mind. mind. Imaginating. I got you. Imaginating. What? I know words too. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just personally disappointed. <laughs> I'll just leave this one up for everybody. Okay. <laughs> I know Chance words too. Actual disappointment oh, in my face. I hope so. They just seem to be this soul crushing. This is a good one. <laughs> This is the perfect one. We don't see our faces for once. <laughs> it's the okay. exact opposite of what Chris does, usually. <laughs> <laughs> usually. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look at that. I like my cold head. It's pretty accurate. I don't know. Accurate. I just need to moisturize more. Like, I just get that <laughs> You need to moisturize. <laughs> All right. There we go. So, which one? You said two. You're going into two. Because we're two, you and I. One plus one equals friends. That's, That's why. Cool. Together forever. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Yes, okay. There, Fine. And he holds out mm-hmm. a piece of fabric to you. He's like, "There you go." What do I do? What? You're not a blue scale, are you? Oh, of course I am. I'm in love. I was so in love 
you know, and I got my heart broken by, you know, a blue skill. So he stops walking. He's like, Ugh. you put it on your face. Come on. It's the blindfold. You got to do it. If you want to go inside, let's go. And he takes you in. Do you put the blindfold on? I love putting blindfolds on, so... Oh, God. Hi! Dobby's such a freak. We had no idea. We thought we were all but... scary and mon- monstrous and horrific. And then along comes Dobby with way more energy and way more overshare energy than everyone. And then I was so upset I couldn't say everyone or anyone yeah. ever needed. <laughs> like just ever oh, anyone. I love you guys too so much. I I am very touched by what you just said. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. you I feel it. Words. I'm not trying. That's I'm trying. This is the opposite of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> thank okay. you, thank you. I want to hug you, but I'm blindfolded right now, so I don't know where you are. So, as you walk down, you can, you know where you're going. You're one of the red scales. You know the animals that are here, kind of. And the one with the blindfold is a basilisk. No one dares go close to the bars. This is how Mox, your now mentor, lost his arm. He eagerly tells the story and advises you to learn from his mistakes. The basilisk attacks on sight. As you come down the corridor, it starts bashing up against the bars. Hmm. Is she really energy now? Yeah. Give it a hug. I can hear somebody's excited to see me. Oh, I feel your energy too. There is no problem. So I can't see it, right? Can I? I know. This, do I know it's a basilisk? Yeah, everybody <laughs> knows. I mean, you guys know which everybody animals knows. you have here. Yeah. 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 You know, like the Harry Potter one in the Chamber of Secrets. Like everybody knows, there's no problem. We can be <laughs> friends. Ooh, mousey, so... new play toy. Yeah, basilisk, new play toy. So, what do I do? I kind of didn't understand what I was supposed to do in there. Well, while you're there, since you're blindfolded, you can either try to make a nature or animal handling or animal handling with charisma check. Charisma check? Either intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. Nature, animal handling, or er, persuasion. What? Persuasion? Oh, no, sorry. I'm going to do persuasion. A what? Uh, 12? The creature, as you approach, gets even angrier and tries to break the bars down as hard as it can. In fact, it rhymes it so hard okay. that you hear it creak <laughs> as it starts to rip <gasps> out of the wall a little bit and bend the bars just a bit. A few more of those and you might be dead. Okay. Can I just Mox kind of starts to walk back. He's walking back. Can I? You can't see this, but he's walking back. uh... Okay. I love that you're still here and then I have the support of somebody that's my master. So I'm just going to command the snake to stop attacking or something like that. Like flee snake. I mean basilisk. Flee from me. What What does it need to roll? Is it something that needs to understand your language for Wisdom. command? Uh, Crucial. Da, 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 da. It just doesn't have effect if they are undead. Okay. Oh, one second. No, 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 no. Sorry. Spells has no effect if the target is undead if it doesn't understand your language. Yeah, it doesn't understand. It keeps continues to bash up against the bars. Oh, it doesn't understand. Okay. Do I have the ring of telekinesis? Like somehow, does it work now? Or if you want to move some large things around the room, then yes, it's not telepathy. <laughs> I think we've covered that. <laughs> I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> so, one second. What I'm supposed to do is I have to go through this thing and grab something? or nope. like No, no, know, no. Have to convince- Basically, you were trying to win this animal over to your side, and oh. you didn't succeed. So you either okay. stay and get eaten, or you can move back and try one of the other animals. Oh, I 
have to be friends. I didn't understand that it was friendship they were looking for. We would have come okay. in with a different dance. <laughs> all right, I didn't get it. Uh, all right, maybe I'll try with another animal then, because this one apparently it's a little bit oopsie doopsie. Okay. I'm in a bad mood. Or somebody else can try one of the other. Somebody else can try. We got 20 minutes to kill. I can cast um, speak with animals as a ritual. Okay. I don't know if we have 20 wow. minutes to kill. I don't know if we have 20 minutes. Well, it's, it's the I, other one. I don't know. Like, okay, Isn't it 10 minutes for a ritual spell? Why is it 20? Because the casting time for speak with animals is 10 minutes. Oh. So what do we do? Do you guys so want to try? What do you do? You try another one. Don't... can try another one. Yeah, so try you tried you number try two. What one? about number one or three one. or four? Biff okay. Wants to try. Let me add it. Go ahead. Biff, where are you Bye, going? Biff. One animal to another. Which, um. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, sorry. That was number four? That was number two. So you're going. Uh, two. Number two. One, three, four. Two. One, three, four. When in doubt, roll them dice. Yeah. Those Phoenix dice. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> using a digital one today. I Shh, feel don't, wrong. Don't say. Now she's mad. Now you've heard actual Michelle's oh. feelings. Three. Three. I'm sorry, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> Three. Michelle, honestly, I wouldn't bother Phoenix Dice with this because they're only meant for heroes, not these peons like we are. <laughs> As you go in. The only saves you can make are ones you roll with Phoenix Dice. Cut, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Three, Chris. So, as you go in, you see an owl bear behind the bars. It, too starts attacking the bars on sight of uh, you. Starts bashing into them. Not quite as strong. How would you like to try and win this one over? Nature, animal yeah. handling, or charisma? <laughs> <laughs> They're both so good for you. <laughs> He's looking it up. Give me a second. <laughs> Okay, yeah, while you're doing that, know. what is Hick gonna do? And Hick is gonna Clarl. stroll up to room one. Room one. Mm hmm. And Clarl? Room four? Uh, Clarl's gonna see if there's anything that I could steal from this room. Okay. So, in that case. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna go try my. I can go to room four then. If okay, Dobby will go to room four room. while Clarl's I'm looking around. So Clarl will make an investigation check. Oh, Hick. Yes. You go into room one, three, no, four, nope. No, that's me. One. I'm in three. And what you see is getting closer, a manticore behind the bars. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. And as you get closer, it starts to shake a bit <laughs> with anticipation shut like like what kind <laughs> of <laughs> someone has to do it like kind what of kind shaking. of shaking like make an insight check the twerking <laughs> shake <laughs> Wait, are you blindfolded too no uh, you were blindfolded because of the basilisk Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Eighteen on insight. Why am I the only one with Eighteen blindfolded? on insight. Okay, with uh, anger, frustration, ready to kill this. Immediately. So I am going to roll animal handling. Okay. Prom promising in a low, kind voice. You know, you help us out, I'll let you go. I know you're a good boy. Just like dog two here. <laughs> I don't want okay. to listen to the caves. <laughs> I don't want to listen to the caves. an elephant. I don't think it, these eat elephants. You probably look like a disassembled North American. Animal handling. What do you roll? I roll 15. 15? Yes. Are there any bonuses in chat, Peen? Yeah. Sylvie? Um, uh, nope. Ch oh. Chad, you can help us with uh, your hinder. Uh, no, not hinder. Help us with your chat. All right. <laughs> with your chat. Too late. Point, guys. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah, see? Two people. people they do it. 
So we have a plus two. Okay. Uh, yeah. Biff, what did you decide to roll? Thank you. What? Say That's what? The sad thing. Oh, okay, there we go. Help, help, help. Moonbo, thank you again. Yes, Ghostblade, oh, you're helps. here. What's up, dude? Yeah, Ghostblade, I don't blame you. Yeah, it's fair. We're, we're a rotten bunch. Thank a you, little... Moonbo. So that means oh. it's a plus four. Oh, Plata also, thank you. Gosh. So. Oh, oh, plus wow, five. thank you, guys. Oh, plus... One second, that's a lot, actually. Plus six for the whole group. So Holy we can, what, how much do you need? Need how much plus do I need? Two. I need a plus two. Okay. Thanks, Rainbow. Yeah. So we Thank have a plus two. Rainbow's helping. Kids. Thank you, chat. And then what did uh, what did Biff? What were you gonna roll? Oh, there's chaotic platypus as well. One, two, yeah. three, four. Yeah, yeah, I counted it. It's plus six Sorry. total. Oh no! What happened? I'm out. Am I out? No, I hear you. Can't hear anything. We can hear you. See anything? We hear you. Oh. oh. Bye. Oh. So, Biff, what'd you roll? Are you going to do charisma or animal handling? <laughs> or intelligence? Uh, I'm going to do the one charisma skill I have, <laughs> which problematically is intimidation. <laughs> okay, you're going to try and intimidate the owl there. Go for it. Owl. Biff walks in and just like bangs his sword across the bars like bellows back at it. It's like, it's not, it's well, not fancy. Well, that's the long cross. Hello. Holy so, cow, Epsilon Cross, thank you for the tier one gift sub to yes. Fourth Culture. Oh, fourth Culture finally gets to sub to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Fourth? We uh, love them. There's Ramji. No, we love them. We love Fourth yeah, Culture. Yeah, we freaking, yeah, we're... Yeah, they're awesome. They're our neighbors. Biff so, Biff, is... you're scaring the shit out of this owlbear. This is so sad. I intimidated it. What'd you get? Animal to animal. Uh, I haven't rolled yet. Here we go. Kablow. Please. Actually, an 18 with my own modifier. All right. Well, you're scary. You. Yeah. For a kobold, you're scary. You yell at this owl bear, or just look at it crossly. And it starts to yell back, and then you get louder. <laughs> and thank you, Ghostblade, for the raid. Ghostblade! And you see. I think Ghostblade was already. In the chat. In the chat. I think just, yeah. Did you go live and then? <laughs> Did you go live just to get advantage and then rate us? That's, that's amazing. Hell I don't know if that's true. Thanks. Um, I'm impressed. Um, <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, as you start to yell back, it gets louder. You see it start to cower. It like kind of looks up with you, like those like subdued dog eyes. It like starts to like back down. Mm -hmm. And now this owl bear. For at least an hour, will be submissive to you before it decides to. I walk to. out and I, throw, I walk out, come back and I throw him like a good piece of bad meat, <laughs> like the good bad stuff. Yeah, like you said, it was not the best food, but yeah. Well, it's, it's um, either way, it gobbles it up straight away and then like kind of goes to your side and follows you around for a bit. Yes, yes. Biff walks out with his new best friend. <laughs> All right. On the other hand, we have Hick, the ranger, talking to a manticore, promising that freedom if it just helps for a little bit. You just gotta yell at him. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not gonna yell at him. He's a good The boy. manticore, seemingly yeah, intelligent, looks at Hick and nods its large lion-like head and sits down and waits for you to open the door. I open the door. Rest it. The gate swings open. Manticore strides out, proud, strong, and joins you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh my God, I was waiting for it. In the meantime, First of all, Clarl is trying to raid his own den. I mean, like, just, just like the, just, you know, what there is around. No one's here. I'm waiting you for find, the guy to be gone looking in one of the other rooms. Yeah, you find Mox's soup cooking on the fire. Is it any good? 
Maybe. Maybe. Only one. No, you, gotta <laughs> you wanna try it? No, 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 no. I, I rolled the situation for something. <laughs> I'm gonna try and use it. That's a, that's a 13. How good does it? How good? Oh, you it? have advantage though from Ghostblade. Oh, it allows it. Yeah, I will absolutely use it for this. Why wouldn't I? I'm about to poison myself with some good shit. <laughs> Good advantage from a, from a 13 to a 21. Yeah. <laughs> That's the a soup. <laughs> the soup is probably the worst soup you've ever seen or smelled. <laughs> it's cooked with the same meat that's stuffed in the barrels. The other. Can I use it? Yeah. Go on. Searching under the bedrolls of the now un, non existent apprentices that were eaten by the manticore. Yeah. You find a whopping 11 gold pieces. Fuck, I am the king of this castle. <laughs> no one else or touch my insane riches. 21 gold pieces, all of my own. And what do you guys so have? rich. Nothing. <laughs> I bottle up some of the soup to make someone sick later, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Join my party members. Biff comforts his owlbear in light of those hurtful words. Uh, oh, you're there. <laughs> yeah, like, we came out of the door like, what is that? Like, what do you have? What do they have? Nothing. In the anyway. meantime, Dobby <laughs> goes to the fourth and final tunnel, <laughs> looking for another creature to tame. A lot of friends. And you come, upon, you come upon probably the most wild of all the beasts. <laughs> a small, <laughs> grayish creature oh. Oh. hiding do in its cell in the corner. What is it? What's that sound? Top, Jared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it it looks up at you as you approach <laughs> and comes to the bars looking like it's about to attack you as well. Going straight for the bars, reaching its hands towards you and the says something that? growls Grrr. what is it it's a good question what are you what do you mean <laughs> you, you do need the beef master you need the beef master don't you <laughs> it is okay. it is a duergar named borb Borb? We we have a Duragar in here? Yeah, you what have a gray elf. A gray Why sorry, a gray you dwarf. That? You have a gray that's dwarf. Just, that's just like putting a it's like putting a person in a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is the thing. Duergar. D E D U E R G A R. It's just a gray dwarf, one of the evil dwarves. However oh. you, Kobolds, having never seen one before, have tried to communicate it with it several times. And it tried to convince you that it's a sentient creature, but you remain unconvinced. We can't speak his language. We don't know. Yeah. Just because you're talking to him before. However, okay, so I tried to convince it looks desperate. Friends. Looks desperate to get out. Okay. So I'm like, ah, hello. Oh, how are you doing in there? So I tried to become friends with the basilisk, but apparently I didn't do a very good job. But don't tell anybody, okay? I don't want my friends to know. Sometimes I'm not a very good uh, friend. But we'll be friends, you and I. There's no problem, okay? And I, pe and I, I touch my l uh, long sword. We're gonna be friends. <laughs> gonna be awesome trying a different and tactic then, you see as borb kind of like slows down puts his hands up and like points to himself like i do the same thing as him yeah exactly yeah touching ourselves uh, lay on hands <laughs> oh that feels good uh, exactly do we do the same thing borb then points to the door Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, swimming. No problem. <laughs> we swim. Oh, yeah, there's no... So we're friends now? You and I, yeah? Okay? I do this. Yeah? As you're nodding, yes. he just nods back. Yeah. I want to go inside check. We're okay. friends now, right? Let's be friends. 
40. Okay, let's do, let's, let's do that. <laughs> Everyone I, else I, I is done with Dobby. <laughs> We just let Dobby do whatever the hell they want. We <laughs> doesn't need a mop don't, afterwards. And don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch me. 18. 18? Uh, it looks like friends, as long as you let him out, he'll be your friend. Is so desperate to get out. He'll be. He'll do anything. No problem. So I, I opened the door. Well, dependency you open the door and he's like, oh, you can't oh. understand what he's saying, but he looks relieved. Oh, I pet a little bit like, and then I touch him like, yeah. Yes, oh, no. yes, he sits yeah. there and he's like, it's been so long. He, he just, he just takes it like a, like a pet. You now oh, have a, a humanoid on. pet. Coral, Biff, and the owlbear just like look around the corners. <laughs> no, it does to be weird. In fact, oh. there's even a leash on the wall. I don't know. I feel oh, no. oh. <laughs> okay, let me let me roll. Uh, in, because it's two legs. It's not four legs this time. Right, 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 right. right? So I want to see, like, oh, do I put a leash on you? Because you have two legs. Usually we do it for four legs. Let me roll, uh, what is it, wisdom for me to... Hmm? Wisdom? Do I roll wisdom yeah, or wisdom. what? Yeah. Wisdom. To see if I shall or not do that. Four. Should I put a leash on or not with a four? Boy. What, what does that mean to you? Highs or lows, man? Uh huh. Hmm. I'm not really sure. For I take the leash, but I'm, and I show it to him. Yeah or no? He, he shakes no. No. <laughs> All right, I throw it. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> and now you have at least three kind of pets. As you leave this corridor, you can now make your way finally either to the riddle room to gain even more power. Hell yeah. Or you can move on to the gas tunnels. Although the riddle room has yet to be solved for tens of months. It has not been solved. <laughs> Honestly, lifetimes. Yeah, I... I don't know. The last person that went in there, I don't even know who they were. Time in memorandum. In memorandum. In memorandum. <laughs> <laughs> Random. Memor Memor in, in memorandum. Nobody remembers when they wrote it. In memorandum. <laughs> ah, so, I'm already 21. I might as well. YOLO. He could die. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you guys. I don't want the tiny. I don't want the tiny. I don't want the tiny spears. As you guys I'll walk away, Mox is like, "Hey, where are you going? I, you're supposed to be my apprentices." Right. You gotta walk them. Oh. Yeah, what? This is a really smart thing you said. You wow. gotta walk them. He looks really proud. He's like, ah, the student has grown to teach the master. I'm so proud. <laughs> Tear rolls down his one eye. You gotta walk him. Oh, oh, oh God. You gotta walk him. Yeah, you did it. Yes. You walk him. Congratulations. We all yes. <laughs> yes. And you guys yeah, head Bill. toward the riddle Don't room. Kobolds call this place the junk room. And it is immediately obvious why. Because if within this 30 foot wide space, it's filled with countless mundane objects lying about, scattered across the floor or in cluttered piles. There are books, chairs, glasses, dice, a broken clock, two rusty daggers, a wagon wheel, a broken bottle, several cloaks, a cracked pot, a single leather boot, a silver chalice, a rug, an empty crystal vial, and Tiamat knows what else. In the middle of this mess rises a white marble pedestal. The legendary riddle is inscribed into its base and it appears that the last kobold who was here attempted to solve it by placing an old sock atop the pedestal. Did it work? Like Dobby. Doesn't seem to have worked. As the riddle wow. reads, My garment is shiny and silver gray. I am red and radiant in my raiment. My, I harm the foolish and encourage them on unwise paths, restrain others from more useful travels. I care not that they, robbed of reason, deluded indeed, praise my shady, shadowy ways to everyone. Woe to them who take this dearest treasure 
if they do not retreat from recklessness. Could you say that? What? <laughs> Again! First of all, everybody go ahead and roll an intelligence check. All right. <laughs> Uh, Eleven. It's Fizza. I'm just smart. Oh, it's because my Duogar is just next to me. It's like giving me a lot of luck. Oh, and then I just kind of like... Seven. What else we got? Looking at it. Uh, Thirteen. Wait. Eleven. Eleven. And Sylvie. Fifteen. Fifteen. Dobby got fifteen. Yes. Dobby got, got fifteen. Rock okay. Star. One more. Thank you. Hey, Crimson Rockstar. So you re- you write a little bit. You read. My garment is shiny and silver gray. I am red and radiant in my raiment. I harm the foolish and encourage them on unwise paths. Restrain others from more useful travels. I care not that they, robbed of reason, deluded indeed, praise my shadowy ways to everyone. Woe to them who take this dearest treasure if they do not retreat from recklessness. And with a 15, you get that this riddle is probably talking to about some kind of vice. Oh, so you said gar, now that you said that, you might have to read it one more time because now we can think about advice. Also, you get that it probably requires two things to be placed upon the pedestal. Should I put my underwear? <laughs> one more time. Do kobolds wear my underwear? My garment. <laughs> my garment is silver and shiny gray. Yourself? I am red and radiant in my raiment. I harm the foolish and encourage them on unwise paths. Restrain others from more useful travels. I care not that they, robbed of reason, deluded indeed, praise my shadowy ways to everyone. Woe to them who take this dearest treasure if they do not retreat from recklessness. Are the rest of us allowed to like make a guess if we didn't get Dobby's and Sure, yeah, yeah. Trip? Dobby, uh, do you share this with them? What you figured out? Yeah, of course I share everything with my friends. Okay. <laughs> Could it be talking about uh, alcohol? Yeah. Like you drink like it, it, it makes you go a little bit crazy, and perhaps <laughs> it go no, the bad crate that kills you. <laughs> God damn it! It seems like it, yeah. <laughs> And maybe we have to put a glass, like that silver chalice, Mm -hmm. so that you could drink it. You can't drink it. No, so you could drink... You do see a silver chalice in the ground, as well as a few bottles of wine scattered throughout the crates and other things. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's this... You know what I do? Um, I use telekinesis to do... to... Ew, crafty gobbo, gross. Jin <laughs> <laughs> soaks up. Oh, oh, God. What? <laughs> what did it say? Someone tell me. Is this like a gin soaks Crafty gobbo sock? said a gin soaked sock, yeah. The one that's on. Gross. So, as you use telekinesis to first place the chalice on top of the pedestal and then fill it with wine, so the rooms touching. around the pedestal start to glow. <laughs> and it separates into four parts revealing within one amulet of health one staff of healing one rod of arcane gate and one scroll of time stop okay i want the healing can uh, we scrabble to the you top? You should get the Staff of Healing, because I cannot cast spells. I grab, and as I'm explaining this to you, I am side I'm scrabbling already. The, the <laughs> Everybody, Let's go ahead and roll. roll. Initiative. Initiative. Okay. I'm going to beat you. I won't. Biff calls I'm it athlete's track. foot. I like it. I Dirty 20. Damn it. No. 10. 10. Dirty 20. And what else? 
Ten. Ten. And? Got a six. Six. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. Uh, plus three. Plus three. Oh, first, then. So, no, Dirty 20 first. Dirty 20 first. So, Hick, so Biff. How, how many of these things can I take? One. One. <laughs> okay. One more time. There was a staff of amulet of health. Uh, staff amulet of, of health. Staff of healing. Rod of arcane gate. And scroll of time stop. I'm going to say arcane gate. Damn it. Ha. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. You take the roll, scroll of arcane gate. Rod of arcane gate. My bad. Okay. Rod of arcane gate. Did I say scroll or rod? I think it's... Scroll? Of yeah, Arc- scroll. I don't know. I forgot now, actually. Oh, yeah. Scroll. Scroll of Arcane Gate. No, no. Rod. That was right. Rod of Arcane Gate. Okay, okay. got it. Next in the order is... Biff, Biff the buff. I can't do the healing staff thingy. I'm getting the... There's only no. bard, cleric, and druid. Well, that's... Aren't you part cleric? She's, she's, she's Actually, gone. you've noticed wow. that. Or maybe you haven't noticed. Do a perception check on all the magic items you've got. Who? I shouldn't Everybody. be able to use them, I would bet. Perception? Everybody? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Clarl coming through. Natural 20! What? Well... Damn it! I got a nineteen. Um, awesome. Good. Boiling cold one. Thank you. Boiling cold one or a cold one. Boiling. Yeah. Cold one. Hello. Well, thank you for the phone. You are friends now. So, we are friends. You cannot leave anymore. Oh no! Not Don't let Dobby thing. get to you. It's not a vibe. What a vibe. Oh, looking for wild gems. Yep. Yeah. Follow that link Perception. to rolling together. So. You, yeah, what'd you get? 22. 22. 19. 19. 19. 22? 22. But once again, natural 20. Yeah. Okay, well, this is perception. So, you guys realize that all the magic items you've had so far have had their names inscribed on them. Thank God. And as you read them, you instantly attune to them. This is incredible. So it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if you're a bard or a paladin or a cleric or anything. For some reason, all of these items have been made to work with you. That's convenient. So are you saying we can have more than three items? No. We can attune to more than three because... I did not say that. However, I did say that you could have three attuned items without a short rest and without having to be Um. proficient in them. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, got it. You just got the amulet of health now. God damn you. Alright, I get the, the staff <laughs> yeah, of healing then. Okay, you take the staff of healing and that leaves scroll of time stop. Didn't Mr. get that? Say what? Wait. Oh, Michelle got the other one. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll take it. I'll take the scroll of time stop. Alright. So, doing this you can cast Time Stop. I'm gonna heal myself right Please away. Don't. However, you do need, when you do that, to roll an Intelligence check. Okay, let me make a... But if you, if you, when that. you cast it. Yeah. I ju- I've been putting them down on another list so I can add them to roll 20 later. Okay. Cool. So... Okay. Oh, this will be fun. You should cast it now. No, no, no. One second. I want to heal myself first because I need to heal for real. No, it's okay. I you should use it. Myself. Definitely use it when. How do I heal myself? Cure okay. wounds. Okay. I, 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 I just cast cure wounds on myself. I just say it. Okay. Got it. Okay. It's your shit if I cast it now. So, moving on. Because we're kobolds. I could steal your shit if I froze time. Got enough shit. And then... 
I don't. It doesn't have to be yours. I will realize. I was it. gonna steal them from the I drunkard in the I back with an elephant. I immediately put that. <laughs> we'll put two and two together. You, will be hurt. you can now make your way, if you'd like, out of the riddle room. Yeah. And mm -hmm. into the gas tunnels. Uh. Oh yeah, Epsilon Cross knew what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Um, I, did we leave another room open? No, it's just these two, right? That was the only one it was the riddle room. And then next That's is it. the poison gas chambers. The gas, mm -hmm. yeah, the gas tunnels. Moving your way well, toward yeah, the big pile okay. on the other side, you'll need to pass through the gas tunnels, which on the other side of, you need to get to the portal rooms, the artificiary and the shrine of Tiamat crossing the lava river and finally into the big pile Jeez. as you go into the gas tunnels however as we stand on the edge of the gas tunnels I, uh -huh. Coral does not go into the gas tunnels yet yeah okay what's happening oh, I'm, I'm gone again do we know we can we hear you again. no Michelle we hear you we Bye. hear <laughs> we hear Bye. We so. see like James Cameron Avatar. Gas tunnels. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know what's in the gas tunnels. You've make this you've made this journey quite a few times. You need to in order to maintain the dungeon. So you know that within the gas tunnels lies the Dragon Queen's most fervent follower. You call him the stalker. No, Dobby's here. <laughs> what? No, we don't have anyone else. What? Somebody like me? <laughs> Somebody to be with? Let's go. No. So, do you guys move God, in? Making your way through? Of I don't course. Dobby, go of first. Of course. Time out. Quick question. Um, sure. This is me being a little bit smart. Um, I know. What kind of gas is this? Magic gas. So not like combustible gas? Probably not. <laughs> it's magic gas. Oh. It quietly puts away the tinderbox. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. As you go in... You can hear or feel re rather the presence of the stalker climbing within the gases on the walls and it speaks to you. The blue scales must be vanquished and whoever does it will win the Dragon Queen's favor. Oh. However, oh my it's God. not too late. To let go of your greed. Leave behind what you have stolen and head to the shrine to pay your respects and pray for forgiveness. The faithful minions of the Dragon Queen will learn of her fate. Well, that was terrifying. <laughs> My God, Chris, it's it's almost one a.m. You can't pull that. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just shat their pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm more upset Holy because God. like I don't want to give up my shit. Yeah, I don't want to give up my shit either. Does that mean the owl bear also? <gasps> no, fuck it. No. <laughs> no. Tinderbox is back out. No. Do well, did they say that we have to? We have to like leave our stuff. I don't understand. I don't want to leave my best new pet friend. Oh, he's I not talking bullshit. about the pets. He's talking about all the magic stuff that you've stolen so far. No. Oh. Can we like? How long is the hallway? It's not that big. You can actually move your way through. And as he says this, he, the voice stops and you're free to do whatever you want. There's nothing else in this like, tunnel like except how, for... How far is it from where we are to the other side of it, though? 
15 feet. Can I throw <laughs> my stuff? <laughs> Loophole! Yeah, like, <laughs> right over there! Oh, God. <laughs> Get away from me, Satan! <laughs> Get into my bath! <laughs> I... He said, it might work. He said, they said specifically to leave it behind here. Question. It's dumb. Yeah. Has the stalker ever said anything to anyone before? Oh, yeah, sure. Besides, like, you should leave, like, you should definitely die here. No, not like that. More like, I really love the dragon queen. She's so amazing. Man, I love her so much. Oh, yeah. So he's one of those people that just kind of sounds scary until you get talking to him, actually. <laughs> to use your word of the day, he's a simp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not going to hear your laundry on chat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So, okay. what is everyone going to do? Like yeah. Go Can ahead. I wait to see if I trust that? Oh, I think it, I think Michelle wants to do something. Oh yeah, yeah. thank you, yeah, Michelle. Please. So, uh, right. so Hicks got an elephant now, and um, I don't know how this elephant is fitting through all these corridors, <laughs> but uh, he's gonna take all his stuff and strap it to the elephant. <laughs> the marble or the to... actual elephant? Okay, we're gonna turn that 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 el marble elephant into an actual elephant. Okay. For a second, I thought you were going to say we're going to turn that elephant on, and I did not want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Dobby thing. Let's... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, Dobby. of course. Let's do that. JDT. <laughs> Just Dobby things. All right. <laughs> you do that. You, you make the elephant real, and you strap all your stuff to it. And then I, I basically whisper in its ear to to follow me. You know, I, you know, you got to follow me, Mira, Mira. I'm your owner now, and you're a good boy, right? And all, I got lots of peanuts. You like peanuts. <laughs> and, um, yes, I leave the elephant behind. Oh. Oh. Roll a... Roll a I don't even know. Roll a... <laughs> the system is... <laughs> your choice of charisma. Or was... Or, no, just or, or your choice of charisma. What? Or... or Charisma or what? Just charisma. Wisdom. Any any charisma chill mm -hmm. skill of your choice. Oh, okay, okay. Charisma chill. Hmm. Charisma, charisma and kill. Chill. No. <laughs> charisma no kill. Okay. D -d 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 oh, that's hard. Let's see. Charisma no kill. Charisma kill. <laughs> I crit failed that. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Shit, he robs you blind. I feel like you know, done in bad faith. Like, you know what I meant? Like, trying to like cheat the system. The dragon queen is still stole her shit. Like, I, I mean, whatever. Be gone with you. Chris, you're breaking up, but it sounds yeah, like I didn't hear you. it. I didn't oh, hear it. Oh. <laughs> I'm so afraid. Nothing, oh, then. Never mind all of that. Okay. What? That's all I good. I just Nothing. heard all of that. Nothing. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Nothing? Okay. Nothing happens. He said no, this. Basically, <laughs> paraphrasing. Seriously? You're trying to cheat the system? Like, you did that in bad faith. Yeah. Kind of. You knew what I meant, what I, I was trying to say. All right? All right, whatever. Okay, just get out of here. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Thanks, Doctor. So, did, one second. Did she lose everything? No, no. Oh. The, the elephant's it's following. Like... You guys, you never <laughs> said you have to give your stuff. He's not like your leader or anything. He's just a simp, like you said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Wait, so then, can I do the inside check to see if I think that he's telling the truth, or do I think he's just trying to rob me of my shit? Yeah, do an insight check. Wow, rolling like hot garbage today. <laughs> so that's another seven. What do you think, Coral? Like, I mean, he's never lied to us before. Why would he start now? Uh, but also, we've never had say, shit this good before. Yeah. And so 
He's absolutely trying to steal from us, and the only way forward is to take our things. Can I roll inside as well? Sure. It's a six. It's worse. Never mind. Let's <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me what you want to do. Let me help you. I'm gonna roll inside, and it's We're a nine. Gonna roll inside. A nine. <laughs> Look, you know, you know the stalker well enough you know to know that. They left their coldness behind long ago to become a forever f simp for the Dragon Queen. They became yeah. a Nothic and live here eternally, what? just praising the Dragon Queen. But that's pretty much it. Yeah. Like they're just uh, hanging out and. Really, like, they think you probably shouldn't steal her stuff because she might kill you if she finds out. But other than that, it's oh, yours to do with no. what you want. Yeah, and Hick also, is already outside of the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, and with that, you guys have left, and you are on the other side of the dungeon, ready to head into the big pile as soon as you go through three more spaces, maybe four or five, it doesn't matter, portal room. The Artificiary, the Shrine of Tiamat, and the Lava River. As you move your way through, what will you find on the other side next time? Yeah. As we finish next Monday. <laughs> Everyone, thank you. That was awesome. I love your cold balls. Thank you. It was really fun. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, DM. Thank you, DM. Yeah, thank, thank you. So much. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Dobby. Thank you. Yeah. For oh, showing yeah, of me. Course. No problem. Let's kill each it. other next week. There's no problem. Let's just no, hurt each other no, with blood no, and no, look at that. I'm not here for that. That's not what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, me too. That's. Hold on. You're not hearing what I'm saying. <laughs> what? What? Not on top. He's gotten so many new friends. Honestly, a sword that wants to talk to him and has a shared <laughs> interest and an elder who respects him. <laughs> All right. Well, Thank as we do that, tomorrow morning yeah. for us, super early, but Thank tonight for all of you all in the States, it's kind of almost tonight, mm -hmm. in uh, seven, six hours from now, oh we God. are going to have our Twitch plays with Strahd Von Zadovich. We're going to mm -hmm. finish off our one of our Dark Domains of Dread one-shots. Actually, not finish it off probably tomorrow, but we're going to continue it with Dr. Snuffleupagus Tall Fry Malvaron. What a good name. The chat character that you guys came up with. So in, my, in my very serious it's and good. dark, it's very serious and dark, guys. I can't believe you would just come up with a stupid name like that, but whatever. <laughs> I don't care. You don't understand. <laughs> God. Real serious. But anyway, starting that in a couple hours, and then following that on Tuesday night. We have our new campaign, also in the Domains of Dread, with Misty Steps, a brand new group who killed it last week. Super fun. Mm. Can't wait to continue as they are now trapped in one of the Domains of Dread, the Carnival. See where that goes. Mm. Following that, so we have on Saturday, usually on Friday if you're in the States, but <laughs> new this week, Saturday morning, cartoons with our other D&D game campaign Actually, it's a mini campaign now for this one is in the future. Kind of. Actually, they're back in the past. But anyway, yeah. it's all good. So see you guys cool. soon, hopefully thank very soon. You, and and thank you for everything. One last YMCA, one for last YMCA as I check out who oh, yeah. we can we go number. pop into. No, we all oh, one we can raid. Sorry, Fable, Chris. We can Fable raid 42? Uh, play nerd. Huh? Oh, who did you say? Fable 42? What? We're talking at the Oh, Play Nerd time. Allies is on? Yeah, so maybe we can raid Oh, Play Nerd Allies is on. Oh, cool. Perfect. Do, do, yes. Be pretty right. supportive, so. All right, cool. Uh, so, one last YMCA for the chat. And we have a Discord, guys. So, uh, guys, <sighs> girls, friends, everybody. So, if you want to join us on the Discord, it's really, really uh, awesome. Everyone. Let me just drop the link one last time and before we raid and before YMCA, I'm not sure why, but anyway. Why YMCA? Why why? Because Crafty Gobo always saying YMCA. All right, then. YMCA. Well, if Crafty Gobo Ready? says it. This is for you. 
And thank you again, everybody, for hanging out. That was really fun. And it was super fun. Right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. YMCA as we leave. Ready, thank ready go. It's fun to say it. What is going on? I don't know. I don't know. This is really bad.